Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to the third in a series of videos where I'm going to be teaching you how to play Agamonia. So I am joined today by Paul Hello. and Pete Hi. and we're going to be playing through scenario three today. As I mentioned, this is part of the tutorial. In fact, this is the last part of the tutorial before the campaign starts. But all of these three scenarios are actually part of the campaign. They are all part of the storyline of the campaign. You're going to get some spoilers today. So, um, yeah, if you just want to learn the rules for this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the extra rules first. Mm. But there's a whole bunch of extra stuff which we'll throw in as we play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some timestamps in this video. So if you want to avoid the story and avoid the spoilers, but you want to learn the rules, just click on the timestamps and that will take you to the parts of the video where I explain those rules. But just as a recap, we have done scenario one, which is here. This is the world map in Ambergate, where we had the flooded in and we escaped from Ambergate on Birdie, the flying wagon thing. And we ended up scenario two, which is what we did last time. Scenario three takes place directly after scenario two, okay. um, which is scenario three. And we are on the road to Roomdale. So that's that's that. So we've done pretty much most of the setup. We've got everything set up as it was from last time, mostly with some additional bits for this time. And just before we start, I am going to go through some of the key rules of the game because it's been a week since we've played. And I just want to go through a few things. So we know about spending stamina mm -hmm. and we know what happens when you've no stamina left. Yep. And also if you take wounds, you flip them over like this. Yep. And if you take wounds when you're empty, you flip these over. And if you take a wound when you have none of these left and they're all wounded, that's when you actually become wounded, which hasn't happened to us yet, but that <laughs> could happen. When you do become wounded, you get that many back. So you kind of like get a second wind. You lose them. You can never go above that. And then if you lose them and you become wounded again, that's when you become exhausted and your figure is removed from the board. Right. So none of us have become wounded yet, mm. but when you do become wounded, you also get an injury. Injuries will persist through the campaign oh, okay. until they are healed. So we have a bunch of injury cards, which are a new type of card. Uh, and I believe when you become wounded, you get one of these injury cards and it's going to give you a permanent, permanent penalty. But anyway, that's, that's stamina, wounds and everything else. Active ability checks. We know all about active ability checks. And the most important thing is that there are not actions to use them. So if you're on a space and there is an active ability check, you can do it. And then you can do it at the start of your next turn before moving off, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. We know about reactive ability checks. They're the blue dice, which is usually getting hit in combat or things like that. Um, we know about using items. And if you're in the same space as somebody, you can give them an item. You can drop items. You can pick items up. You can rearrange your items for ones that you're currently carrying and ones that are in your backpack. Mm -hmm. That's a once per turn thing that you can do for free. If you want to do it any other times in your turn, it's a maneuver to do that. Now, one thing we are going to use this time, because we are going to be getting some more equipment, is this backpack value. So you can have five backpack items in your backpack or five encumbrance worth of items. Now, some items don't have any encumbrance value on them. So, Pete, if you just pass me your... Cube of Annihilation, thank careful, you very much. Careful with that. Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah do. This do. doesn't have a backpack icon on it, so this doesn't take up any space in the backpack. Yep. Also, these these are items, but these are tokens. These don't take up any space in the backpack right. either. So, yeah, we've, we've got items. The other uh, rules that I just want to go through are hindered. So if you are in an area where there are the same number of enemies or more, you are hindered. That means that um, a recover maneuver will recover one viewer. Yep. Uh, you can't drop or swap items or pick items up. And there's something else if you're hindered as well. Was it to do with attack? Just free mind. No, you can attack. Fine. That is the one thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Oh, all of your active ability checks are one fewer success. So an active ability check, a recover, um, and you can't you can't swap items around. Okay, but attacking is attacking is fine. Right. The other thing is, as well as hindered, there is a thing called obstructed. Mm -hmm. Now, this is when you're using a ranged attack mm -hmm. or a magic attack at range. If there is another thing in the area that you're attacking, be it friend or foe, then you get a minus one. Or if there's an enemy in your area, 
or if there's an enemy or if there's anything in between. So, yeah, if if there's two enemies in an area and you want to attack one of them with a ranged attack, that is a minus one because mm. it, it is obstructed. It is in the way, right. Um, yeah, so we just need to remember that for any ranged attacks or magic attacks that we do. Mm. Hook and Rope gives you the climb ability, although on this map there are no areas of different elevation, which we'll see in a minute. Um, we know about the focus action, which gives you a plus one to all of your active and reactive checks. We know about the rethink maneuver, which you can do instead of your action by mm. flipping this over to give you one movement point or uh, recover one stamina. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much, pretty much it. So yeah, right. Let's make a start then, and read the scenario introduction. I think do we, we do the do scenario we, introduction next. Do we choose our not do yet? Next? We can have a look at the scenario first. Let's just put that there because this is the scenario: Secret of the Ancients. You are still shocked from the magic bolt. The leaves in the trees behind you still smouldering. Mm. Desperate not to get hit again, you run from the forest towards the strange lights. As you follow the road, you find the derelict ruins of an old pagan town built around a strange round hill. On top of the hill, your friend Shantor Threebirds is caught in a magical battle against a menacing robed figure. He must be the one who casts those magic bolts into the forest. Powerful magic radiate in all directions, painting the clouds first in scarlet, then in blue. Something about them, or the hill itself, seems to attract your runic plate, which has started to vibrate. Hmm. You witness the enemy grab Shantor with his powerful magic and throw her down inside the hill itself. How is that even possible? The evil sorcerer looks your way. He is holding a crimson orb, its light reflected from inside his hood as if he had a glowing red eye. He hesitates for a moment, perhaps preparing a spell, but then glances at the orb again. Instead of attacking you, he steps on a metallic disc which starts to levitate and then takes him northwards, away from the scene of the battle. Before you have a chance to react, you see a strange vision. It is Shantor. He tells you that the hill was built by the ancients, but is now full of harmful Aeox magic created by the powerful sorcerer she was fighting against. The evil energy is clashing with her good magic, and it's about to cause an implosion that will pollute this whole region. You must enter the hill and stop this from happening. You must hurry, since Shantor herself is in trouble too. Right, so that's the scenario introduction. Uh, what we need to do is we need to be setting up the map and we're going to be putting an X token on some of the lines on the map. We're then going to be revealing card one from here and we're going to be start starting with a number of skitterers on the board. Now we got this option from last time, so we're going to start with three skitterers. So yeah, three skitterers at random, which have, they're going to have six health each, I think. So they go on various areas of the board. The runic plate. So this is the runic plate. We're going to have eight runic plates in this game. Somebody needs this one. Okay. I vote me. Right. Because Pete's got four items already. Yeah. You've got a shovel. i got a shovel. That's all I've got. Yeah, so I'm, go I'm going to have the runic plate. We don't know what it is, but it, it's, it's vibrating. You're going to be spilling a skip for most of the time. Yes. <laughs> um, right. We've got some additional scenario rules, which are the X tokens. So I'll just I'll just show you this map briefly. Ooh. So these X tokens, they're gonna go on these blue lines here. Now an X token makes it impassable for the purposes of movement, line of sight, and also range. So story points cannot be traced through an X token. Treat mm -hmm. it as if it's a, a, a big wall. Yep. So that's the X tokens. We also have some blade thorn bushes. So same as last time, yep. we have some areas on the board with blood drops in. If you move into an area with a blood drop, it's a reactive agility check. You're taking two damage minus whatever shield you roll. Um, right, this scenario does not have a time limit. Instead, we carry on playing until we are told to read outcome one scenario success. Alternatively, we might read something that says we read outcome two, or if all heroes get exhausted. Um, if we succeed and fail in the same round, it counts as a success because when you do succeed, you actually play until the end of the round. Okay. 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 And then we'll read the scenario conclusion, which is in this book here. Right. So here is the map. And what we need to do is. is oh, you've got some X tokens. Yeah. So if you put some X tokens on those blue bits there, and we need to put three skitterers. So one's going in there. There we go, people. One's going in there, and one's going in there. Right, and the skitterers. 
So we're using this board that has space for eight monsters because there, there are eight Skipper miniatures and we are not using the standees so that you can actually see them on the overhead camera. Um, but we have three, six and eight. So yeah, they have six health each, three, six, uh, eight, because it's two health per player. Just as a reminder, they have a provoke of one. So if you were to move out of an area with a skitterer, you will take one damage for each uh, for each skitterer that's in there. And you don't get to depend against that? No, no, that is just straight one damage. Uh, we are also going to be using the snake icons and the horn icons this time. So whenever the snake icon comes out on an initiative card, they're going to regenerate. And whenever a horn icon comes out, it makes whatever they do better. In this case, it makes them move faster. So we have three skippers on the board at the start. Right. So just as a reminder of the round sequence, we all select our actions, which one we want to do. Then we'll reveal an initiative card. Then heroes and enemies will take turns in the order of the initiative card. And then at the end of the turn, we reveal a fate card. Now, the fate cards, in the past, we were just using these as a timer. But actually, these fate cards have got numbers and arrows on. So we are going to use them. At the end of each round, we're going to discard one of these. The numbers and the arrows might be useful later on. But at the start, they're not. At the start, we're just flipping them over. Mm -hmm. um, but there is something that will happen later on called a timer. And that's where the number is relevant. If we're told to start a timer, then we put that in the discard pile, yeah. and then every one from then on goes into a timer pile. When this reaches a certain amount, something will happen, and then those will go into there, and then that starts a new timer. I'll explain it more when that, it happens. That's a shuffle deck. That's not. That is a shuffle seated. deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a yeah. shuffle deck of cards with right. the numbers one to five. Yep. So yeah, I'll, I will go through the timers more in detail later on, but that is the that is the fate deck. Okay. Uh, and while we're, we're talking about initiative, let's just go back to the initiative. Do you want to just um, reveal a couple of cards from the initiative deck and see if we've got any with icons on? So yeah, that's that's got a horn icon on. So the green enemies in this particular instance will be doing that, but boosted by the horn icon. Okay, do they get the movement before or after their attack? Uh, well, the movement is always... So this isn't a green enemy, but if it was, no. yeah. the movement is always before. So that would actually oh, be a I see. Of yeah, three, yeah. Yeah. and then a then left attack. Up. Okay. But if we just flip them over, let's see if we can get one with snake. There you go. So in that particular case, the red enemies will be doing their snake action first, and then their normal action. Yeah. Okay. There are also cards in there that are good for us. For example, that one. The gr any any hero which is acting on green gets an extra free manoeuvre that mm. round. Mm. So yeah, so those are the initiative cards. So right, give, give them a shuffle. I'll put that on top then. Yes, yeah, <laughs> take that one on top. Right, okay, so hero actions. Now, last time, previously, we had this. So we had a skill that says unlocks after the flooded in, and that's what we had last time. Well, this time, we now have three and we choose two of them and we slot them in here mm. now i believe and phil who is watching us as we record this live will correct me on this this choice is not fixed so every time you play a scenario you can reconfigure your character accordingly and as the game goes on we're going to get more of these these two are always fixed but you can you can chop and change these as as you need to now hopefully the iconography is fairly clear on them but they are all explained here, I've if you want put, to know what you're going to do. Print symbol there. So you've got Dancing Blade. So Dancing Blade says it's a melee attack. Yeah. It costs you one stamina to use. So yeah, that's the thing. That's the one at the left. Yeah, a lot of these new action tokens do have a stamina cost. Oh. So you need to be careful about that. So it costs you one stamina to use. You roll two action dice. Yeah. It's a, it's a melee attack that rolls two action dice. And you may also use one movement point to move your hero either before or after the attack. And Phil has confirmed, yes, each time you play a scenario, you can configure your character. Right. So you have all of these action tokens to choose from. You choose whichever ones you want. Okay, can I just have a, yes. um, a clarification on that one? It's channel energy. Channel energy. Yeah, so you mark one of us who's got to be within line of sight and range three, mm -hmm. and you give us a token. Now, I'll, I'll dig that token out wherever yep. I've put it, okay. if you choose that one. Yep. 
the next time that that person rolls one or more action or reaction dice, they get two more dice and they give you the token back. So they discard the token and they get two extra dice. And I'm going to choose Empower. So I've actually got an ability where I recover stamina that I have spent or another hero within three. Mm. So I, I basically roll three action dice and that's how much stamina you get back. Mm. So I'm going to choose I'm going to choose that one rather than rather than that. Well, I'm going to have Defender of Myon <laughs> or Mion. Yeah. Uh, it's one so melee attack costs one stamina. One you stamina. roll two action dice and then you get one okay. extra success on every reactive check from that point until the end of the round. So it's wow. that it's that icon. I get one of those. Yeah, so every time every somebody time attacks you, just... or if you were to go wandering through some blade thorns or something like that, fall down okay. a cliff. That sounds like good fun. And you're not having the channel energy. I'm not going to do channel energy right. this time. Okay. Um, so we've covered the initiative card icons. Um, let's just cover double red lines. We have some double red lines on the map as well. So these are basically solid barriers. So for the purposes of game effects, a double red line is exactly the same as this. It's a wall. So yeah, it's a solid barrier with between two areas. You can't count range through it. You can't count line of sight through it. You can't move through it. The double white lines. Double white lines. They don't block line of sight. They don't block range, but they do block movement. Mm. Right. So you can fire can over fire the double white lines. Yeah. And they do count for the purposes of counting range for story points. Mm -hmm. We've covered encumbrance already. Um, we're going to have some enemies dropping loot. Skitterers don't, but other enemies that we're going to be fighting do. I've mentioned injury cards. We'll come on to those if they happen. Enemies might be performing ranged attacks in this scenario. They work in exactly the same way as our ranged attacks. And I think that's probably enough. Probably enough to start with. So we all start here. Right, so start. And if you have a look closely f3 we are already within three of f uh, so mm -hmm. just before the first player's turn mm. we're going to reveal story card f i thought there was a reference somewhere there it is so these it's just a reminder of what the x tokens do okay a reminder about the blade thorn bushes and a reminder about when the scenario ends yep but we've got that for when we need it okay so off we go. Mm. What do we want to do? I mean, we've got enemies on we the board read, right at the start. We need to read F. At the start of the first player's turn. Okay. So we need to choose our actions first. Uh, well, there's, there's, there's story stuff. There is story stuff, yes. Everywhere. See, I played this last night, so I, I won't say anything about the story. Okay. So I'm thinking that probably somebody goes that way, somebody goes that way. We smack around a few tickets, uh, skitterers whilst, we're, whilst mm -hmm. we're on the way. Um, I mean, I have a runic trajection magic attack, which can be used within uh, range three. Okay. So from where we are, I could stay where we are, and I could, one, two, three, I could attack that from where I am. Cannot attack that, because it's more than three away. Uh, and cannot attack that. Oh, I don't, I don't know, I think I can. So have I got line of sight? In fact, I think I can. Does that red wall one, stop two, you? Three, because so it, it's got one, two, one. three, oh, okay. but I think I can trace line of sight from any part of this to any part of that. Yeah. Right. So I think I can. So I think, I think from here, I'm stood on the edge and that's that stood there. I can just about hit that one mm -hmm. with a range three attack. Well, do you want to start doing onboard artillery whilst we head off and start investigating things that, over here. I, I'm definitely going to do that. And smacking skitterers. Now that's not going to be enough to kill either of them because my runic trajectory does two dice. It's not obstructed but they've got six health each. So unless I get super lucky, all I'm going to do is I'm going to damage one of them. Okay. Do we also remember about achievement tokens? One so extra hit. It's it? one extra movement when you're moving, yep. one extra recover when you're recovering, one extra success on an active skill check or one extra damage when you're attacking. Mm -hmm. And you can only use one for each instance of, of that. 
I think it's one extra recover. I'm just going to check that. I can't quite remember that one. Achievements. Yeah, recover. You can use it to recover one extra stamina or heal one extra damage. You know what I'll do then? The mushrooms get you two extra stamina. You can discard them to two extra stamina. And the star lotuses, of which I've got loads. So I should probably share these out before we start. Because I've got three star lotuses, each of which can be discarded to heal two. Okay, I've got, um, I've got one. So if you have a star lotus, okay. there you go. Thank you. Okay, defender of my own. So I would be able to attack and get a reaction dice. But it's a melee attack. To melee, I need to move but in. You can move, you can move three. I can move three. Yeah. I can do three. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and focus in the middle. Okay. And attack this guy. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah. I think I'm going to head over this way, start looking at these, but also do a ranged attack on him. Okay. So, so I'm, which I'm, which I'm, action I'm are you gonna, using? I'm going to use I'm this. Go with aim shot because I haven't used it. It's new. And do defend so that costs me a... it costs you a stamina, and you can only use a ranged weapon yeah. with it. Now you do have a ranged weapon. The hook and rope can be used at range one or I two. Might, I might just go. Do you need to put that in your active slot first? No, that's true. Maybe you need to take it out. Well, it back. depends which weapon you're using. That's a two-handed weapon. That's a three-hand. I've got four hands. Remember no, I, four I can, hands. I, so I can have. I can have an axe, and I can have a hook and rope. Yeah. So right. I do. I do remember reading somewhere that yeah. although Matajan has four arms. You can't have two <laughs> two-handed weapons. I, I believe you cannot have two two-handed items. Hi, this is Paul in the editing room, and I just wanted to tell you that that restriction on Matajam has been removed. Unfortunately, the text is still in the tutorial booklets, but it's actually been removed from the game. So Matajam can have two two-handed items equipped. Okay, well, I've gone with Swift Strike. And you've gone with Swift Strike. I've gone with Runic Projection. I've gone with Defender. Right, so we have an initiative card. Pop them to one side. Off we go. What have we got? So it's red monsters first, then red heroes, blue heroes, blue monsters, green heroes, green monsters. So is anybody on red? You're on red. Swift strike. Okay. Swiftly um, on. So I'm going to do my movement first. Move three. So uh, you're spending a stamina to run. Um, yes. Okay. One. Two. I could go a, a shortcut, but that takes. No, yes, I'm. I, I'm, I'm good. Well, you've chosen one. swift strike. Yes. Are oh, you going to do a ranged attack? I see. Oh. Um, so I'm going to take a shortcut through the blade thorns because I'm good with blade thorns. I've got loads of. Um, Where are you agility. going to? I'm going one, two, oh, three. Oh, because you want to go to there, right? And then I'm going to shoot from there. And I'm also going to be able to read both of these from there. That's the plan, anyway. Okay. So I need to do a blade thorn defense. You do. Uh, which is three it's dice. Two, da two damage. You've got three agility. Um, and I'm really good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two damage. That's a good one. Ouch. 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 I'll teach you for taking a shortcut. And then when you move to there, we're going to reveal C1 and A2. As soon as you move to an area that is within range of the story point, you get to read that story point. So this is within one of C, and it's within two of A. So let's read C first. C says, a crystal on a pedestal. Inside the walls is a pedestal holding a blue crystal. The pedestal is as weathered as the rest of the ruin, but the crystal is shiny and clean. This valuable and magical Agura crystal would not have survived here for centuries without being taken by robbers or skitterers. Someone must have put it here recently to power up something. So if you are on the same space as C, you yeah. can take the magic crystal and flip this over. Okay, I'm, I'm not on the same space. You're not. And I don't have the range to get there. So that's that. We also have uh, A, which is Mummy. You spot something big moving around behind the ruins. Before you have a chance to react, a Venorian hive mother rises up and towers over you, webbing dripping from her body. She seems uninterested in your presence, and you realise it may be better to keep her docile. So, infinite range, Mother's Instinct. So as soon as a hero attacks a Skitterer, <laughs> uh, we uh, flip this card over. Ah. Uh, so, Pete, what are you going to do next? So my swift strike on that Skitterer... He's going to put you within two of the Hive Mother. I'm suddenly... <laughs> it's Mum. You know, I'm right next to its Mum, who's about 90 feet tall. 
and um, doesn't look as though she's going to be very happy with me shooting at her son. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Um, because <laughs> I'm uh, staying back on the start space. Because, <laughs> uh, I think we stay here. <laughs> well, we need to we need to be making progress and knocking over skitterers. Um, unless anybody's going to tell me that they think that's a really bad idea. I mean, I think that's a really bad idea. But I'm oh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out with this one because I'm coming this way. Yeah, I'm going to get mauled, aren't I, by Mum? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but, all right. Well, let's let's get on let's get on with it. Um, so I'm going to. Uh, I've got a hook and rope, which has got a range of two. Which is two. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I can I can do that. There's no obstructed aim. So a swift strike. Two dice. Two dice of attack. But it's minus one because of the hook and rope. Hook and rope is improvised, so it's it's minus one success. Uh, not very good, is it? Especially since the consequences are likely to be disproportionate. But here it is. Um, ooh. So it's one and roll again. And roll again. Here we go. And again. Ooh. I don't think Mum's going okay. to like this. So four successes. Plus, plus a possible extra two. Plus a possible extra two if you spend stamina. But minus one because of the hook and rope. So at the moment, it's three damage to number eight. Yeah. So I can't kill it. You could. And as we mentioned last time, there is an app that you can use optionally to keep track of all of the enemy health. I can't kill it because I've only got an extra two that I could do. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to, you could kill it by Ooh. spending one of your achievement tokens. Oh, dear. Oh yeah. Dear. Um, but you don't need to because we're we're coming in. But... Yeah, we can. I'll, I'll take another shot next time okay. like, as I'm running away from it. So just three damage? Yeah. So we're going to flip over this card. Angry Mama. <laughs> you should not have angered the Hive Mother. He rises up, hissing menacingly, moving her long legs with surprising speed and accuracy. The ground is full of egg sacs and rotting carcasses, but she manages to lunge at you without her harming them. She will harm you, though. So we're going to reveal uh, card number two. We're going to spawn the Hive Mother in A, and we're going to remove this card from play. So we get the Hive Mother miniature, which goes in A. Now, uh, things don't act on the turn in which they are spawned. So this is the Hive Mother. The first thing to mention is that this is large. Okay. Now, a large creature takes up two dots right. on the map. Mm -hmm. What that means is that she can never move into a space that only has one dot. And if there is a dot, if there is an area with only one capacity left, she cannot move in there, but she can attack from adjacent. So using the normal rules that if you can't do a melee attack into an area because you can't move in there, you can attack from adjacent. Yeah. Um, she has five health per player plus five. Wow. So she got twenty health. Wow. Okay. So we'll put we'll put that on her. So she's got twenty health. Um, she has an armor value of one. So every time you attack her, one damage is reduced. Mm -hmm. She's got a provoke value of two. So if you move out of her area, you take two damage. She does drop an agura crystal when she dies. Ooh. Nice. That's what the loot is down at the bottom. So her special abilities, um, she will spawn a skitterer in the same area as her or an adjacent area if it's full, whenever the snake comes out. And then she's got a combination of a web attack, which doesn't do any damage, but you will gain one of these condition cards. You will become held, which means you can't move until you spend a mover to get out of the web. Okay. Uh, she can stomp on you uh, and she can spike you as well and if she's doing these with the special horns that's got extra range extra movement uh, and that does poison which means you will gain one of these conditions so the next time you do an action roll you get you get one fewer dice that's the hive mother and uh, she's green so she's fairly slow right i think that's it is that your go done um i think so yeah okay so what's next on initiative that was red heroes. So it's blue. Blue heroes? Nope. Me? Okay. Defender of man. So I'm going to first of all do a run. Um, can you see that on the camera? Is that okay? Just one there. Is this... That's the one you're not using. Yeah, yeah I can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. So one stamina to, one stamina run. to run. Three. Three. So Where do you want to go? Let's go in here. One, so one, two, two three. three. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to use this defender. So I pay one stamina. 
I get two. Yep. To attack. Okay, so that's one damage at the moment. Spend stamina to make it more. Two stamina would I kill can it. Do two stamina, two stamina would, would kill it. it. Yep. Let's do that. Okay, so that one's dead. They don't drop any loot. You. Hello, Loki. And. You've now got plus, now one, got plus one plus one success on success. every reactive check that you do for the rest of the okay. round. You're also on D, so you get to read. Oh, that. we get to read D. Yeah. Got spotted. Right. D is a shrine of the moons. This building was probably a holy place. The mossy walls still showing emblems of Agamonia's two moons. While the hill is trembling, you also feel a different underground vibration. It seems to be coming from under the cracked floors. So if you are on this space mm -hmm. and you have a shovel as an active item, <laughs> you can spend a manoeuvre to, to basically dig under the floor. Right. I have a shovel. You need to throw me the shovel. So, yeah. Or I'll come and get it for me. Or I'll come over there and do the digging. But yeah. Yeah. Can you shoot? You can't shoot across this. No. Um, yeah, double double white lines. So you yeah. can shoot across it. In fact, did we read F? We forgot to read F. No, we forgot to read F. Apologies, I did say we should have read F. <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> at the start of the first player's turn. <laughs> Let's just rewind. We should have read F at the start, but it wouldn't have changed what we did. So F says the chasm. The violently shaking ground has opened a deep chasm in the earth. The webs near it are broken, but you hear the sound of skitterers scut scuttling about inside the dark gap. So, from now on, whenever a fate card gets discarded with a four on it, because we're three heroes, uh, we spawn a skitterer in an area, depending on the arrow on the card. So things are going to start popping out mm. of this chasm, potentially at the end of every round. Right. Depending on the fate card. The fate card. If the fate card is a four, another skitterer pops out. Okay. So yeah, that wouldn't have changed anything that we did. No. Apologies for that. Right, so next up on the initiative track is... Blue Monsters. Blue Monsters, which is the Skitterer. So they are doing their... They're doing a... Closed eye. Closed thing, eye. With, with extra horns. So okay. closed eye for them is actually good for us. They're moving four, but they're just snooping around. They're not actually going to be doing an attack. Yeah. But they still move as normal. So to the closest of us, is it? In numeric order, number three goes first. I'm pretty sure I'm the closest because I'm three away. So it's 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 closest not yes. as the crow flies, but as as it can't move, move across, across here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think this one goes one, <laughs> straight two, through three. Yeah. Now, do yeah. enemies take damage going through the blade thorns? I don't think they do. No, they didn't okay. last time, did they? Isn't it? Yeah. So that moves into there. Um, and then number six, pretty sure you're the closest. Yeah. So again, that can move four, one, two, three. They're just sniffing you. Just they're snooping around. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That might slightly change what I'm going to do, but maybe not. He's green heroes next, which is heroes. me, and that's, yep. that's it then for the for the round, isn't it? Yeah. So I've selected runic trajection, uh, which is a ranged attack, but I can use it point, here. Point blank. Um, now, there, there's a question. It is a ranged attack. Are you, in, are you hindered? Well, I'm, I'm hindered, but hindering doesn't affect attacks. My question are is... Are you obstructed? Is it obstructed? Yeah. If there are one or more enemies in the same area as your hero. So, yes, it's obstructed because I'm trying to do a ranged attack and it's getting in the way of me. It's kind of interfering with you. Yeah. So, it, it's minus one success. It's only two dice. Mm. It's not good. Stuck in a corner. Okay, well, there's two. One. Minus one. One damage. Okay, right. I've had a little nibble at it. So I've still got a manoeuvre. And I'm not doing anything with my manoeuvre, so I could move away and just take the one damage. At least then we're moving. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, yes. yeah. I think that, that otherwise been, I'm not That would have been better. That would have been better. Oh, move away and then do first. the thing. Mm. Yeah. Let's say we did that. Because yeah. otherwise, I'm just going to hit it there and move away. And move away. So let, let's say we did that. Yeah. So I'm moving away. I'm okay. going to move two, which means I take a damage. 
and then I do the ranged attack on it, and I deal two damage instead of one. Yeah, that's much better. For two reasons. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to end up stuck here, because I'll be here for three rounds yeah, just trying yeah, to have yeah. a go at it. Yeah. I think we're done. I think we're end of the round. Yeah, this one doesn't get a go in its first. Because it's spawned. No. That's it. So at the end of the round, we do a fake card. Fake card is in number three. So no more Skitterers spawn. Round two, we choose an action. Well, I'm going to choose Runic Trajection again, and I'm going to... I'm going to focus. What's your plan? Because this, this well, thing's going to come out and start having a nibble, but you do have a great axe. I do. Um, You're in an area with that. Yeah. What I was thinking of doing was cheekily sneaking through here. There is a way through, yeah. Um, and then running away. <laughs> um, unless unless we think it's worth having a stand-up toe-to-toe with uh, Grandma here. Well, um, she's got she's got one armour, so every time you hit her, one success is nullified, and she's got 20 health. It's probably going to take more than just you. So do we want to do that, or do we want to just kind of move that way and try and leave her behind? Because that's those are the two options that I see. Mm. Well, let's just have a look at the story points. We've got G1 here. So anybody going around here will reveal that one. E1. So anybody going around here. B1. If I was going to run away, there. I could kind of run away through there. Yeah. We've got J1, which is this bit. R0, so you've got to be on there to see that. U1. And then up here, which you can get up here, there's a hole there. Ooh. Mm. So potentially one of us could go through here, through here, and then along here. Mm -hmm. That's mm. a possibility. Mm. Um, I, I, I mean, my feelings about having a toe-to-toe -to -toe is that we'll end up um, battered um, and possibly not have enough to... What, what, what does everybody else think? Because I, I, I don't want to kind of rashly kind of rush in and or, or run away um, without giving everybody else the opportunity to shed some thoughts. Well, she's going to spawn every time we get a snake. She's mm -hmm. going to spawn another skitter. I don't know how many snakes are on the carts. Mm, okay. That's true. Um, and they're going to spawn all where over. Where she is. Oh, where she is. Yeah. Not wherever she's the moved. Spawning at the end of the round comes out of oh, here. Oh, right. So there's going to be skitterers everywhere then. It's going to be full of skitterers. Unless we keep. If we take the take the hive mother down, we we at least stop the um, the spawn of the skitter are there. Yep. But but if we're over here, we're going to we end up battered stay... over here. And while then, they're what moving. we really want to be doing is getting <laughs> in there and doing that. <laughs> we need some strength, I suspect, left to be able to handle that. Hmm. But remember, we are not on a timer for this scenario. So there is Can no just have a rush. Look. Let's have a look at these dots. She can't go into number one. Yeah, so anything that's number one, she, she can't, can't move go in into. there. So she can't go through there. No, but if she... Oh, right, yeah, but if she was here, she could attack us. But she couldn't follow us through. She couldn't, but she can't she couldn't get go through. into this space and squeeze through the And door. she can't get through there. So no. she's not going to be in here. No. So if we get in there, she's she outside. Can't. Yeah. So we could kind of run that way. Yeah, that's an option. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how do we get inside? I've forgotten we how we know. break this. We don't know how we to break it. We don't know. It's going to be one of those story cards. We don't know. Right. That's how to do it. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm in that case, I'm, I'm inclined to. I'm inclined to move this way. Well, they're going to follow us in one, anyway. Two, three, four, five. Um, and that's what I'm thinking of doing. So you're thinking of that extra would, that maneuvering? Would, that would give you that, yes. that J -E extra maneuver. B. Go through here. Give go you through B. here. Land e on there. And J. Okay. That's three story points. Unless anybody good. wants to tell me that they think that's a no idea. The I mean, stupidest no. thing they've ever seen. No. I mean, the, the sooner we reveal these story points, the sooner the, we'll, the, know, we'll know what to do. Okay, okay. So, let's do it, to do. so let's start with spending. Hang on, hang on. So you're you're choosing to do that. Oh, yeah, sorry, we all, right. so, we'll choose so, my question is yeah. whether I move and whether I stay and try to talk. I'm going to do a really projection because there are two stickers. It's only got four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay, and I'm gonna attack this. So I'm gonna focus. Focusing is not attacking. 
focusing is not attacking no no focusing is not attacking so i'm going to give i'm going to do this one mm -hmm. uh, that's my best one yeah well if you want to deal damage the true strike is better because it gives me two instant but the hits. other one gives you the other one goes slightly faster because it's blue rather than green and it gives you that point of protection and it costs you a... i've got a point of protection already have you no, yeah because i've got it. that the first time that was until the end of the round and then and it okay. cost you a Stamina. It does cost you a stamina. It does. It. Yeah. It's up to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, we've all yeah. chosen. Yeah. Right, initiative card. And this time we have blue enemies and green enemies. Well, it's green heroes first. Really? That's me. Oh, oh, and you. And you. No, you go first. Um, well, I'm going to zap this one again with my runic rejection. <laughs> it's got three left. Right, I am going to, so it's one damage, I'm going to spend two stamina, two extra damage, and I'm going to spend an achievement token. Okay. Is it worth it? Let's have a look at what they're doing on their turn. Well, the, the hive the hive mother's next. Oh no, it's just snooping around, so I don't need to do that. It's, yeah. it's not attacking again. It's going to do a snoop. So... I think I'll just spend one stamina to just do two damage. Okay, so I've, yep. done, I've done my attack mm -hmm. and I did two damage. I'm then going to use my maneuver and I am going to move into here. You just attacked. Which one did you attack? Sorry. Yeah. Ah. Did I, did I reduce I... the wrong one last time? Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I reduced the wrong one last time. So it should have been down to four last time and now yep. down to two. And then I'm going to move, and I go into here. Now Now that I'm in here, you're no longer hindered, and we can swap items around. And mm -hmm. But you've done your manoeuvre, haven't you? I have done my manoeuvre, so I can't dig yeah. Yeah. this turn. So that's green heroes done. So, no, it isn't, because I've got to do my green hero. Oh, you're green as well. So I'm going to spend that to go... So one of my three movement points, uh, we flip... So you're going to take card. the magical crystal? Oh, yeah. I can't see anything going wrong. Uh, you feel the Ogura crystal's magical energy as you remove it from the pedestal. You can feel its warmth and power in your hand. A low hum that had surrounded the ruins dwindles. You had not noticed it was there, but its lower pitch now makes it obvious. Did the crystal power something inside of the hill? Gain an Ogura crystal token and remove this card from play. So an Ogura crystal is one of these. Right. Um, and because it's a pentagon, that means it's worth five stars money if you were to sell it but there's nothing on the back so there is no actual use for okay. this that you know of apart from money at the moment at the moment there might turn out to be something at the moment mm. yes same as with that pendant thing the pendant is triangle so that's three money yeah right uh so that's one it's point. one of three movement second one puts me within one range of b b so we read b under the shadow of a goddess, a large statue of Lanim uh, Lanimora, the old pagan goddess of the Nitigri, overlooks the whole ruin. In the shadow of the statue are the remnants of a building that do not seem to be a house exactly, more like a covering for a hole or cellar door. Beneath the vines and skitterer webs there are spiral stairs leading downwards. So if you are on B, you can descend underground and flip it over. Well... I've played enough role-playing games to know that you never ignore a set of spiral steps going down into the ground. <laughs> so I shall do there. So that's your third yes, movement Yes, third point. movement of my first manoeuvre. But now you can flip yep. this over. Yep. You have descended the winding stairs, but the passage further is overgrown. You can easily move the vines aside if you want to move along. So we reveal story card dot, place it next to the scenario map. Heroes and enemies may spend one movement point to move from one B to another B. Oh, so the Bs are connected. The Bs there a B, are is there a B in here? So this is other. an abandoned chamber. This dark vault has been nicely preserved from robbers, if not from flora. The air is damp and heavy. Under the plants at the back, you see a stone tablet. So there we go. 
Well, I can't see any other bees on, the, go, on the board. There. Oh. So this is actually underneath that. Right. So we've gone underground. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. Confusingly. But it should go there if we had space for it. I there. see. But so we do don't. I yeah. get... Uh, we I, just I, need to make sure these are on camera. Yeah. There we go. So I'm now there. Uh, if you want to. It, it costs a movement point to move from a B to a B. Well, I've gone down the stairs, though, haven't I? Does that mean I appear there? No, you've. I think you've looked down the stairs. Uh -uh. It just says, reveal the story card and place it next to the scenario map. So it's more looking down the stairs. Although it does say you have descended the winding stairs. Mm. Yeah. But it doesn't say you put yourself on there. Though I need to spend a movement point to do that. If it I want it to would see be a movement point to move from there to, to there. there. And if I want to see what Y is. Right. Uh, well, let's go in for a penny. So you've you had your first manoeuvre. You can't just look down some spiral stairs. You've got to go down them. <laughs> Come on. That's the, I'm sorry, but those are the... Bad you're ones. on your own. I didn't make I've got. Trails. I've got this. I've got this creepy spider up my leg. Yeah, well, you're having fun over yeah. there. I'm going digging. And I'm going underground. That's what you do. Right, so, let's go well, down. You've got to select a second manoeuvre. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, on to my second, my second manoeuvre. It's going to be a... Normal movement, two normal, movement. No, more, not that, normal two movement. Okay, yeah. so your first one goes to there. Yep. Yeah. Which means we reveal why. Why is a cellar skitterer? Oh. The mossy cellar is home to an angry skitterer. Behind the bug is a broken stone table, a victim of a rock fall. On the table is a stone lid covering something that radiates with magical energy. Mm. So we spawn a skitterer in Y. And then if you are on the same space as Y, you can push the stone lid. But it's not possible if Y contains one or more enemies. So as long as there's a skitterer on Y. And the skitterers have been, haven't they? Well, or... even if they haven't, that won't act on the turn it comes into play. Right, of course. So that's skitterer number two. Um, so it's a might check of three um, to push the stone lid of the altar. I've got four arms. But you can't do it while, while the skitterer is there. Okay. So I've got still one... got a movement point left. So let's let's go in. Mm -hmm. It's not going to hit me whilst uh, this turn. But you can't attack because you chose extra maneuver. So that's it. That's green heroes done. Green, green monsters. Green monsters is the hive mother. It's closed eye. Closed eye. So she is moving to and then going to try and spike somebody. Now from where she is, I don't think she can get anybody. She cannot. That's how she goes. One, two. Through a two dot region into a two dot area. So, yeah, she's not exceeding the limits. That's it. That's what she's she does. She's not going to sit there, is she? It might. <laughs> <laughs> that could be problematic. Because she can spend one movement to go from there to there. Oh. So, she is one, two, three, three away, from, away you, from me. Oh. But only Why? two away from us. So instead, uh, of, yes. instead of going there and there, yes, you could have gone there and there. Yeah. It, it it, didn't yeah that matter. didn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's green. That's green. That's the hive mother done. Uh, so now uh, we've got blue heroes. With an extra manoeuvre. With an extra manoeuvre. Now, you've got the shovel. I have the shovel. You but can you've, take but the you've shovel done from your, me. You've had your <laughs> turn. So I could take the shovel from you. Because we're I? not hindered. Yeah. Uh, and I could do this before I attack the Skitterer. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put that I in got, my... i got nothing. Oh, hang on a minute. This is two hands. I would have to remove my hand. So why don't you attack first? Then I'll give you the shovel, and then you can go a deep. Yeah, okay. So I attack with my hand axe. Yeah. Uh, I get two dice. I do. And this, let's get the right one. This is number six, so he's yeah, undamaged. Undamaged. So it's just two, potentially spending two more, which would be all of mine. I'm not keen on that. Um, it could take him down to two points, but he's still going to have a go, isn't he? He's still going. He's still going to have a go. You could take. Do, but then take him halfway. Use one. Then, yeah, but they're not attacking you. Then I do have they're, two recovers. They're, they're snooping but around I do, again. But I do have two recovers left. If you wanted to, or yeah. you could dig. So I could dig. Well, I could dig and maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna pay two more. So four damage. To do four damage. Four damage to number six. Four damage to number six. Down to two. Okay. Okay, I've also got a shield. You now have one shield for the rest of the round. This round. 
And uh, I'm going to... Two manoeuvres. Two manoeuvres. Now, I want to do the shovel. Swapping your items around. I can do that first. You can do it once on your turn on my for free without spending... Right, so I do that. A manoeuvre. Then I take the shovel. Then mm -hmm. I use a manoeuvre to do the dig. Right, which is this. So shovel as an active item, spend yep. a manoeuvre. Spend a manoeuvre, yep. To flip this over. A strange vibration. You remove the broken pieces of stone floor and dig in the ground beneath them. The vibration grows stronger and is joined by an iridescent glow. After the shovel clinks on something hard, you find a vibrating runic plate with the symbol of a moon carved on it. So you gain the moon runic plate token. Nice. And remove this card from play. I have a moon runic plate. There you go. Okay, don't know what to do with it, but yeah, I've got one. Okay. Okay, and my second manoeuvre is to recover. Two. Get two stamina back. That's it. So that's blue heroes done. Blue heroes done. Now we've got blue enemies. Blue enemies with the Skitterers. closed eye. Closed Again, eye. they are moving two. Move. So this one goes one, two. <laughs> yeah. Right, so end of the round. Fate card is a number four. So we do get a spawn skitterer. Mm. The arrow is down, which means it's going to appear here. Oh, so okay. can we have another okay. skitterer? Number five. Skitterer number five. Pops out the chasm there. And because it's spawned at the end of the round, that means it is going to get to act on its turn. Now we've got four skitterers on the board. Yes, there's one down there. Oh, there's one down here. I forgot about that one. Bob. Right, next round. Bob the skitterer. So he wouldn't have moved either, so... No, because that spawned on, on that round. Yeah. But yeah, this round we've got lots of skitterers everywhere. So, so you, were, you were just saying, because it spawned at the end of the round... That means it will act on this round because this is now a new round. The new round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. all, all of these skitterers are going to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think we've been very lucky so far that we've and had the closed eye. they been snooping around. But sooner or later, they're going to actually start attacking us. We're going to get nibbled. Yeah, we are going to get nibbled. Now, oh. we've done we've done the digging here. So that, that bit's done. I mean, I could attack the Hive Mother from here. Can I? Yeah. Is, there a, is, there a, is, there a, is there a line of sight? There is. Yeah. There is a line of sight. But there's an enemy in my area. So again, it would be obstructed. Oh, and you haven't got a... I now know how, I no longer have a melee weapon now. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you could give me the shovel back at the start of either of our turns and I could hit something with the shovel. Oh, wait, except I can't. Because I've changed my skills. You don't have an I attack? Don't, no, my only attack... Oh, this is a bit of an oversight. Oh. My only attack is the runic rejection. Because I've chosen Which empower as well. Melee. To get yeah. people's stamina back. Right, okay. So, um... Well, could you well move, I tell you what, you I, I, I'm I mean, just going to have to move out and stop I, it. I can, I can do my true strike, which will take it out. Will it? Yeah. Because so I've, got, I've got plus two. Oh, number six. Yeah, but is that a bit of a waste? It is a waste. It's also going to be slow, isn't it? Potentially, it might get to act first. I mean, let, let me try and take it out with my runic projection. Although it would be obstructed because I'd be attacking an area with somebody in it. Okay. Ah. It's only two dice. It's only two dice. Okay. Have we seen... E1. We have not seen no. E. We've not seen E. It's this purple glowy thing, whatever that is. Yeah. We've not seen G. Now, this looks like a black cat mushroom. I don't fancy going that way, though, somehow. No. No. I, I, fancy, can't, I fancy coming through. I can't go through that way. No. You so go I through here. go through there. But there's, take some, there's blade thorns. Potentially take some damage. Yeah. Um, I don't know where Pete's gone. Pete's, Pete's disappeared. Pete, Pete went down a hole. Yeah. <laughs> he found some stairway. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to um, use... I'm going to run away, is <laughs> what I'm going to do. I'm going to run away. So I think I'm just going to run. You're I'm... not doing any attack at all? You're you... just going to... Well, if you, if you fancy taking know. this guy on, I don't know. did you say? I mean, I could do him with true strike. I could just knock him straight away. Because I've got two damage. I mean, he's what, only got, he's what, only got what's two What's our health. plan? Are we, are we moving away from here and going this way, or are we... Look, sticking around here to find the problem we've got is that if we get any more skitterers spawn, we are going to be overwhelmed before we get into here, and we don't even know how to get into here yet. No, so I think we need to either 
do something. I mean, you've gone down this hole. I mean, I could probably come up here and see what this is all about. Yeah, if you want to extra maneuver, just, 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 just run away. Just run away. It's interesting that you're giving us lots of choices. And if, I, and if I come this way, when I get to here, you'll see this. We'll see this, this and we'll see this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm extra maneuver. Okay, I'm I'm going to stick with room integration. I might just stay at the back and just try and nibble these thin, a bit. thin the crowd. Yeah. Okay. And um, you're choosing a swift strike. I am. Yeah. Have a go at this one. Yeah. Right. Initiative. Here we go. go. Here we go. So it's blue <laughs> enemies first. So it's the yeah, difference yeah. first. <laughs> With the okay. half open eye. Yes. So they're moving two and then doing a leg stab. So number three. Number two. Number two. Sorry, number two stays where it is and it's going to stab you in the leg. So two damage and an agility reaction check to avoid damage. And I did a really good job last time I was I'm confident that I would avoid yeah. all of this. Oh, just. So, well done, Matthew Jan. That's the way to so do that. So that's number two done. Number three. Can move in here because the area has got four capacity. Four. Yeah. So it moves in. Now, who's got the highest taunt value between me and you? I'm five. I'm one. So it's me. But you can actually choose. So even though well, the rules we... say okay. it will go for you, yep. I could put myself in the way if I want to. Of harm. To. Okay. But I've got four stamina left. But I've not been wounded. I've not been... I've not, yeah, so. at this stage, I'm thinking not. Let's see, We'll see what happens next. Okay. I'll so, take it then. I'll take it. Two. Uh, yeah. I do two. My two is two. The one damage. One damage. Okay. okay. Next is number six. Number five. Oh, five. Pick one. So it can't get in. So it moves to there and has a has a melee attack yeah. into the yeah. yeah. Well, you want me to do that again, do you? Well, you, don't, you don't have to. I mean, I, I could take sure. it. Oh, go on then. Do. <laughs> That's one. So these symbols don't do anything at the moment. Right. So that's one more damage. Another one damage. See, if I could fire it off you my defender, yeah. I'd have had something. Anyway, but, never mind. And that's then number six are. attacks one of us. So shall I take this one? That'd be a good idea. I've got two of them. My legs are rather sore. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Blue enemies have gone. Who's next? Okay, so. Red heroes. Matty Jam. Um, yes, I will. Uh, I, I will wave my great axe at this. Do more than wave. Please. It's two dice and you get plus one success because of the great axe. Yeah. That's a great axe. Just remind me what the cube of. I'm not going to use it this turn. but So, as a maneuver, yes. you can discard it. Yes. To do an area of attack, everything right. within one of you, every enemy within one of you, takes three dice. And if you roll that symbol, it counts as two successes automatically. Wow, that is okay. annihilation. Well, yeah. So that would be quite good well, here. Yeah, that would be good in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be very good. So, um, two points of damage. It's currently two points. Uh, three, because of the Great Axe. Three points of damage. So it's three points two. of damage. Number two. And if you wanted to boost that... You could. I'll boost it by one. It's down to two health. Yeah. And then with my second, no, with my manoeuvre action, so maneuver. I'm not going to move. I'm going to recover. Yep. Yeah, but you're hindered. So it's one, one less. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Still okay. I'll take, take those two back. Yeah. Right. Right. Any other red heroes? Nope. Nope. Red enemies. Red enemies. That's nope. Nope. Blue heroes. Blue, that's you. me. Yeah. Extra maneuver. So you're going to take two damage so, for running out. For here. running out. That's not very nice. Right. Chosen well, it I've, now. I've done it, so <laughs> I'm going to. I have to. Ow. Yeah. Ouch. So two movement points. Um. So I can't boost. Yeah, I can't yeah. boost my movement this anymore. Can I? Uh, okay. Well, actually, no, you can. So, before you move, you could spend a stamina to have three movement points. Oh, yes. Which you might as well. Because if you think about it, that's the situation if you did it the other way around. But actually, what you should do is that. That first. And then you take one, two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For moving so same you've got three movement points. Same but before I do that, I will hand that to you anyway. I've got my shovel back. 
Um, I don't need it. And I'll put my ex. You want me to carry on with it? Well, I, I'll help. Want it as a oh, you, you, haven't got, case, oh, you haven't got a melee. No, I can't. I can't, no, you can't do, do a melee anyway. Can no I melee. can't do a melee attack. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Ollie, as you've reminded us, you can spend achievement tokens for one extra movement. Ah, yes. But only only one. Yeah. Only one. So if okay. we did need that extra point of movement. Okay. So if I go one. You're going that way. Two. Could go this way. Out the back. If you're wanting to see what that was. But if you go out the front. But if I go there the front, and spend one, one two, I get both three. of these. I yeah. can get both of these. If you went this way, you could go one, two, three. You could end up there. But yeah, they're, they're in C, both of those. True. I think they're in goes to so okay. so you run around those. You run around there. Yeah. No, you don't need to. you got three movement. One, two. I have got three movement. you got three movement, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you could see this yeah. and then spend the achievement token for white for movement. If you wanted to. Yes. Okay. Which yeah. one first? E or J? Uh, e, please. The light of the moons. The rare and delicate moon egg is easy to spot from afar. The petals are deep purple, but its swollen stamen is full of luminous pink fluid. The flower is known for its healing properties, but in clumsy hands, it is easily destroyed. So if you are on the same space, you can pick it up. It's an agility check of four. If you succeed or fail, you flip the card over. But you've got to be Four. you've got to be on the space. Phil just reminded us I can't take the shovel. I'm mm -hmm. hindered. It's two versus two. You can't swap items around when you're hindered. Okay. Thank you. Good in, spot. In that case, I have to do, put that back there. But I could have taken. I I still could have moved into my backpack. Yeah, you can still swap things around swap yourself. Back. You just can't drop, pick them up, or right. exchange them. Okay. Basically, the the monsters are getting in the way of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I've... So that's E. I could spend one... We've got J as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So J yeah. is a lightning doorway. Mm. The opening at the base of the hill is blocked by a wall of azure lightning. In front of the wall of light, you see a carving on the stone floor, the same size and shape as the runic plate you are carrying. Clearing it of dirt and webs, you see it has the symbol of a leaf. So if you are on the same space as Jay, you could place the leaf runic plate on the slot to flip this card over. Uh, okay. We don't have the leaf runic plate. Not yet. So... so I don't want to go there, but I will spend I will spend one point. One achievement token. Achievement token, thank yeah. you. To move here. Okay. And then you're gonna try this test? And um, I can try the test because I just can. It's only two dice, though, isn't it? Yeah. Me. And if you fail, we'll see. You can't, you won't fail is to, blip. You won't yeah. be able to boost. You can't boost it. Because you've got no stamina left. I would suggest not oh, doing right, this then. with two dice. Okay. The chance of the team is, is not very good, is it? One in 36. Okay. Yeah. No, well, a, a little bit more because of that. Mm. Have your achievement token back. Yeah. Okay, so it's very I won't be character. quite so rash. Right. But that was your first movement. Yeah, that was your first manoeuvre. That was my first manoeuvre. But you are now not um, hindered, so you could have a nice lie down. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you could get three health back. Yeah. Three wounds, three three injuries or wounds. Three, that's four, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't do it with this without doing that, so I do need to do recover. Um, three wounds. Three, three, damage. three wounds? Yeah. Three damage, sorry. Yeah. Three damage just to make them. Banner. Nope. No, no right straight, on to, on. straight on there. Okay. Yep. Oh, I don't think I've needed to do that before. Okay, that's good. Right, so that was you on blue. So mm -hmm. now green heroes, which is me. Ah. Yeah, I'm in the same position as you. Yeah. I can't really attack because I'll get penalties. And to get attacked. So I move. am going to move out. I'm going to go one, two, which means I take two damage. And then I'm going to do my runic trajection on, well, the, everything's got two health apart from this one. So I'll, ju I'll just go for number six. Yeah, let's take them out. There you go. Yes, nice. 
Hi, this is Paul in the editing room, and one thing that I did get wrong here is this attack should have actually been obstructed. So even if you are doing a ranged or a magic ranged attack into an area that has two enemies in it, the attack is counted as obstructed because there is something else in the area in which you're attacking. Now we do correct this later on, but yeah, that is one of the tricky rules that you need to remember. Number six is gone. Yeah. Right, and that is my go done. Okay, now the hive mother. Yeah, what's she doing? Half oh, open eye? Half open. So she's moving three and stomping. Oops. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. No, I don't like the sound of so that. So we need to have a look. She can go one, two, and then attack from there. Um, that's a two space, isn't yeah. it? She can get in there. So she can go here, go down the stairs to here, right. and attack from here. Okay. But I've got that, a higher That would taunt. be two. I've she got the higher taunt. She could go one, two into here and you've got the higher taunt yeah so she's going to go for you yes she is so she goes do, 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 yes into here yeah i think right. we need more dramatic enemy noise i think do do do, <laughs> do, 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 do. it's not <laughs> quite a high mother is it <laughs> it's more like... right so four damage agility check to avoid yeah only two for me come on well, that, nice. no, that's pretty good. So two damage. So two damage. Yeah. Good job you healed. Was good job I healed. Phil, Phil's just pointed out something. Sorry, yes, we did miss. It was oh, obstructed yes. aim because there was another thing in there. So I will. Oh, you're I'll, obstructed I'll, aim. I'll, I'll spend the achievement token. Yeah. To do the extra. To do the extra one just to get rid of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Mm. Need to remember that obstructed aim rule. Yeah. Right. So all done. Yes. You've been stabbed. End of the round. Yeah. Flip the card Here over. Here we go. Don't be it's a war. war. Right, next round. So the problem with my runic projection is it's slow. Yeah. Really slow. Mm. And you don't want to be in the same hex. So I you. think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Empower so that it's red. It's Just likely, in the hope that I, to go I, I, the I move away and then I can use it to Empower you and you can get three stamina back. So that, that's my plan. Is it three stamina or three dice worth of stamina? Oh, sorry, it's three dice worth of stamina. Yeah. Um, oh, that's even bad. Okay, so question, so question then for the party. Yeah. Is it worth me hanging around to try and hack this hive mother a bit, meaning well, she's got 20 health? Yeah, right? but it's, it's provoke of two, so if you moved out, it's two damage. Yeah, you might as well stay. Oh, oh yes. As soon as I finish that one off, I'll come out and I'll jump in. That's, that's a good point. Um, but because if, if you decide to stay in there, what you could do is a true strike um, and then also a recover. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be mm -hmm. impeded, mm -hmm. you'll be hindered rather, so you'd only get two wounds back. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty good still. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed two hits, a true strike, which is. Yeah. Minus, I quite like that. So. Yeah, minus, yeah, it's true. Uh, well, I'm going to do that. It's yeah. slow. You're true striking. I'm empowering. Pete, you're swift striking. I'm going to finish off. That one. Yep. And then see what's under. Here we go. Oh! Red Hero. The super card. With an extra. So with it, an extra. Yeah, and the, this is the super, super card yes, for us. Is. All the heroes get to go first. We all get an extra maneuver. Then the enemies go, but then it's a it's a reshuffle. So, okay. Red first. Do you want to go first? You've got your action thing and you've got okay. two maneuvers. I'm going to. Hit it with my axe. Yeah, and this is skipper number two, which only has two health left. That's and you're rolling two, two dice, so you've done dice. it. Plus one. Yes. Yes, that's we don't need to roll. A minimum of four. For, for, yeah, four. There you so go. that's him gone. Now... You've got two that... manoeuvres left. Now, underneath, there's a Y... Well, you can now do this check for free. Yes, I'm going to do that. So it's a might check. Um, you need it might three. be in my feeling. Uh, not quite as mighty as some people. Well, actually, I'm just saying you're as mighty as me. As mighty. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. But I can't, I can't use my axe. No. So I'm looking for how many successes? Three. Three. There's two. Uh, and that makes three. It does make three. It wasn't impeded, hindered, obstructed, none of that. Not no, anymore. Just, just done. Right. Okay. So let's flip it over. A magical treasure. 
you push the lid out of the way and discover a strange magical cube and a gem glittering with all of the colours of the rainbow. Oof. So you gain a cube of teleportation and a prismatic jewel. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually nice. just going to show you these uh, here. So this is discard it to teleport five. Nice. Teleport. The rules for teleport are you must have line of sight to the area that you teleport to. Oh. You're not considered to be have entered any of the areas that you move through. You may teleport through single and double white lines, but not through solid barriers. You are not subject to enemy provoke abilities from the area that you leave. And you may teleport into an area that's at maximum capacity, but you may not end your turn there. Mm. Okay. And the prismatic jewel is very simply discard it to get an extra maneuver. Now, these are both items, but none of them take up space in your backpack. Okay, lovely. Can I just Sorry. can I just yes. sneak up and sell all this loot? And then you, leave are, you, two you are item to, man. Leave you two to... Yeah. Or item lizard. Well, I was forearm. hoping it was going to be a runic plate, but it's not. Yeah. No, because we need runic plates to get in there. We need a leaf <laughs> to runic program. plate to get through here. Okay. So I've done all that, which was my... Swift strike. You've got two maneuvers left. I've got two maneuvers left. So my first maneuver, um, I could do a recover and get those two yep. back, which I think makes some kind of sense. So let's do so that. Heal those two. Yep. And then I will just do a standard movement. I think uh, oh, here, one, here, two. Yes. Right. That's red heroes. Me as well. And I've got an extra manoeuvre. I'm going to use my first manoeuvre to go... Ah, now can I go in here with you? I can. And then you wouldn't be hindered. At the moment I'm hindered, so recovery is difficult. Exactly. Well, wait, if you do that... I should... Re yeah, but I won't be hindered either. No, but you'll be obstructed when oh, you're trying no, to do I'm your not range. attacking. If you were. Yeah. And, and I won't be able to move in then, so I'll only... No, but you can attack from adjacent. Oh, can I? Yeah. With doing a... Because the area is full. Doing a melee? Yeah. Oh, well, no, I'll, I'll, yeah. That's... So I'll use my first <clears throat> manoeuvre to move in here. So we're not hindered. Because there's two of us and one of it. Before you get there, when you're there... I don't think I want to. No? Okay. Oh, no, I could. Are you going to leave that? Because I've got stamina. So it's probably worth a try. Well, you could leave it to me because I've got three dice. When I get over there. Yeah, I'll leave it to you. Okay. Just because it might go wrong. It, says it might go wrong. Clumsy, easily destroyed. So we probably want to leave it for you because okay. you've got better agility. All right. So my first maneuver was to movement into there. Mm -hmm. My second one is to recover two health. And then my actual thing is empower. So I'm going to use it on you. And you take three damage. I mean, I mean, you recover three stamina. Thank you. And I could have actually spent my stamina. Give it to give, give even more. To give extra. Well, that's nice. That's a good ability. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. You're going to give one me extra. one extra. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's that's amazing. There you go. I'm a healer. Brilliant. That's that's you done. Me done on red. So me green. Yep. I'm going to recover three. Because I'm not, I've got three. You got three? Wins. Yeah. Yeah. So I've recovered three. You're not hindered. Yeah. So that's back on full. So that's back on full. Fighting fit. You've still got I've one extra maneuver. I've got one maneuver and I've got one action. Yeah. So, um, so I probably didn't need to have boosted that stamina. I'll take it back. Well, because you, you probably, what are you going to do with your second maneuver? Yeah. Well, I was, I was wondering whether. You're probably just going <laughs> to recover again. Yeah. Well, I was going to do it before you boosted. I was going to do a second recovery. Yeah. Let's take that back. Okay. So I'm going to take one back, which means yeah. you've still got one stamina there. Right. So if you now do your true strike and save your second manoeuvre till afterwards, you can get some stamina back that you've spent. Sorry, say that again. So you've had one manoeuvre. I've had one manoeuvre. Now still do got your a... true strike. Yes. Two manoeuvres this time. And then yeah. do your second manoeuvre afterwards. Yeah. Because you're not moving with it. I mean, you could move away, but you take two damage if you do. Yeah. So you're staying in there to fight yeah. Vigus. It's just one. 
So it's one plus two is two, three. three. Minus one. Minus one. So two damage. It's yeah. a start. Yeah. And yeah, you now have one manoeuvre I have one manoeuvre. And you could move away, but you'd take two damage. Yeah, I'd take two damage, so I just recover. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Red enemies. None of those. Blue enemies. That's the Skitterers. Skitterers, and that's half open so eye. So Skitterer number three. So no horns or anything else. So they're moving two. Move two now. Uh -huh. uh... They can't get us. So it would be one, two, three to you. It would be one, two, three, four to me. Oh, they can go through this way. Ah. Yeah. Did we did we spot that? Because <laughs> we were going we were going we were all going the way around. The so we could have gone through here. Yeah. So they they do. It goes into there, and it attacks from there. Right. And it attacks me because I've got the highest taunt. Yeah, unless I wanted to take it. But I'm, I'm full, so okay. I'm going to go for it. So two damage. It's a leg stab. Um, well, it's agility, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Nope. And then this one. So this can't move into there because there's only one dot, but it can go here. And it can attack from here. Yeah, okay. One. On damage. That's it. I believe that's the end of the round. Okay. So that initiative card gets shuffled in. Hive, no, hive, hive mother. Oh, hive mother. Closed eye. Yeah, we Fully missed. closed eye. So spiking four damage <gasps> might oh, might check to prevent it. Wow. Ouch. Is it blue dice or red? It's always blue. Oh, yeah, reactive. It's reactive. So three damage. I mean, you get health back quicker than other people do. Yeah. But... you will feel it. It still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> right, I that's might. the end of the round. It is, however. Yeah. Shuffle this. So there's a shuffle, and this is a so three. This means shuff, put all these back Everything. in the shuffle. Yeah, shuffle it all together. Yeah. Right, next round. So... This is interesting. So I can't do a melee attack for two reasons. <laughs> You're obstructed. But I <laughs> But what I could do is I could just stay here and empower and just keep just fuel anybody else. People. But you'll take damage. Well, possibly, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay. We want to call you Zua say the uh the cleric. You're right, the cleric, yes. Okay, good. So well, are you, you true striking or are you um, defender of me on him? Am I defendering of you? Um, no, no, no. That, no, defender that of me gives on. you. That gives me one defense one, against this. All of them attacks. Big, big baddie. Yeah, that makes more sense. Well, I'm going to swift strike. Yep. I'm going to move in here and then I'm going to either attack the uh, mother yep. or I'm going to just do a bit of gribbly wrangling. Um, and just knock out mm -hmm. that one, okay. depending on which you think is right. She's a standoff in front of this leaf gate, isn't it? Yeah, is what it is. Initiative card. <laughs> yeah, initiative card. Initiative card. Okay. Blue, Blue heroes. Hero. Who's that? Defender. I'm a, I'm a defender. Okay. That's good. Be your first. Okay, so I'm attacking for two. It costs you one stamina. Need one stamina. It does. So it's, it's one damage at the moment. So it's one damage. Lost potentially four. Which is zero because of the armour. Uh, Assuming you were going for this one. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you could have attacked this one. Because I'm it's adjacent in an area to that's full. Single. Yeah, you could I not attack this yeah, one. I wasn't thinking of that but, one, but yeah. No. Yeah, I was thinking of the big one. So it's currently it's one attack against... It's, it's zero. zero. It's zero because of the armour. But it's okay. one for one for sp you spending some Yeah, damage, but right? I'm not sure that I want to. Well, you can add an extra. I'm, I'm going to well, you're you going to do back. some stuff anyway. Okay, then. I think spend all of it. All right, three then. Hmm. And a crystal? No, that's brilliant. So it's down to 15. Well, I don't mind sticking a crystal in. Well, crystals are they're quite useful. when you need the extra one. Because yeah, once okay. they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, true. Okay, that's true. Okay, and uh, Manuba, I will recover three. You're not hindered. I'm not hindered. So there you go. I yeah. can do one, two, three on there. 
Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, red. So that was blue. No, red hero. It's me. So I'm going to use Empower on you. So three dice to get your stamina back. How many stamina are you down? You're down four. So, yeah, I will spend two of my stamina to allow you to get four stamina back. Thank you. Feeling refreshed. And then I will recover. That's good. My own three. Wow. Very good. And we can keep putting damage on the hive. Mother. Yeah, this it, it might work. That I'm not. This might work. You're not. Well, you're I'm contributing by allowing us the damage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that was me done. That okay. was me on red. So now it's me. Red. Uh, I will do a, a standard manoeuvre. A saunter. <laughs> I'll just stop and smell the flowers and talk to the lizards <laughs> and the butterflies <laughs> on the way. And I know there's a bit of a combat going on there, but I'm in no hurry. So I'll go in there. Oh, here it is. Um, hello. Where have you been? Three's, <laughs> only, a hole. three's only got two. <laughs> now, oh. what do you want me to do? Do you want me to finish him off or put some more damage okay. into her? Skitterers are going to do a three bite. Nasty bite. Nasty bite. I can get rid of that. Right, yeah. Get rid of the little one. Yeah. I think so. Okay, I'll do that. So that's uh, two dice, but I've got plus one because I'm using my axe, um, which I can do oh, because greatness. that area is. It's, it's a full area, so you can pack into it with a melee weapon. Yeah. So that's one, two. Three, four, yeah, five. Yeah, well under. <laughs> Underground. A two health back. Okay. What's next? That was Red Heroes. It's good. I thought we've only got one skitter left. Sorry. I'm coming back here. Uh, it's next. It's uh, Red, which we don't have Blue any. Enemies, nope. uh, Blue enemies. Blue enemies. Skitterers. Well, we only have one skitter left. One skitter. He's going to so move it stays one. stays here. Yeah. It does a leg bite. It does a bite, not a leg bite. Of three. You have it to take it? Yeah, I certainly am. Now that I'm And don't forget you got one extra shield. And I've got an extra shield. How many dice you roll? Oh sorry. Well, just, so trying it's to... just, one. just just trying it's to shoot. this, isn't it? No, it's this. It's three. It's might. Yeah, sorry, it's I was might. looking at the three it's rather three than damage. the might. Might check. It's my might check. Yeah. Yes, I was looking at the three thinking it was dice, it's not. Uh but you've got shame. one, so you've got one success. I've got one success. I've got one your... shield. Yeah. yeah. So it's two damage. two damage. Yep. Okay. Then it's the hive mother. Hive mother. And she half is open. Eye. Stomp. So it's four damage. Agility check to yeah. negate the damage. You've so still got that same. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the whole of the round. So, yeah. Three more. So three more damage. Yeah, that was pretty expensive. But that's it. That was painful, thankfully. End of the round? Green. Anybody? Nobody's green. No. Nope. No. Right. End of the round. Okay. It's three. No more skitterers. Good. Next round. I guess I'll do the same. Although it's damage you've taken rather than stamina. Yeah, it is. Oh, so you can't. I'm going to extra, I'm going to extra yeah. manoeuvre and just heal. Otherwise, I'm going to be taken out, I think. Because if I t if I move out, I'm going to take two damage anyway. It's a real pain. So you can't really do anything for me, can you? The the thing is, so I I want. To, uh, okay, if I if I take the damage, if I stay here and I take damage. It, it's going to be a skitterer. It's going on green. Green normally goes after blue. Yeah. And right. We are I, we are I can't we are heal. reducing it. When we are reducing its health, which is pretty good. It's only gone down by five. More positive. For, <laughs> more positive. Yes, Paul, you're chipping away. <laughs> Don't forget you've got a, um, a lotus. Do you have a star lotus? Star lotus gives me, or oh, that gives me a recovery of two health. Um, yeah. I mean, you're right. You could do two manoeuvres and get six health back. But then I could get six health knocked out of me as a result. And I'm not really contributing much. Um, Matter Jam's here as well now, so we are getting an extra attack on it. True. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm. I think I'll do that. So I don't know whether I should empower. 
points this round damage. because it's red, which means it's likely to go first, and there's not much I can do with it. So I think I'm going to do runic trajection, and I'll just I'll have an attack. It mm -hmm. will be a bit of a rubbish attack, but it'll be. Something. But it will be an attack. It yeah. will be something. So initiative card. Okay. Now we've got uh, nobody at any thankfully. So it's red heroes. Okay, who's red? I am. You are. Yeah. So just me. Swifty, Swifty said. Um, Two dice plus one because of the great axe. At no stamina cost. Good ability for that. Mm, that's nice. Or I could just teleport. There's a nice restaurant just on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you would teleport me out of it. <laughs> well, the obvious thing to do with that is to go full on, full spend on. those two. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five, minus one. Four damage. Down to nice. 11. Nice. And then use my manoeuvre yep. to get three stamina, three stamina back. Happy there you go. That's really nice. That's how it's done. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Skitterers. Skitterer. Singular. Skitterer. Half open eye. It's so leg stab. So again, leg stab it, two. It stays here. Um, shall I take this? Yeah, if you if you wouldn't mind. I'll take this. What kind of? It's agility. Yeah, it's fine. So one damage. One damage. Okay. Okay. Then it's uh, blue heroes. Me. Okay. An extra maneuver. Heal, oh. heal, 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 yeah. heal. Yeah. Six so five. I'm going to do. I've got six. There, there you go. go. All six. Back to full health. Yeah. Um, were you hindered? No, because there's two of us, one of, one of it. Okay, um, Hive Mother. You're not blue, no, you can. Okay. Stomp. Four. Ability. Two, nice. Four damage. Four damage. I'm easy, Jay. I'm a punch bag. Yeah. I'm a punch bag. What is going on? But me being in there means that you are recovering at full value, yes. which yes. is yes. really helping. Yeah. I've not taken, I've not wounded yeah. as a state yet, am I? And then me. Yes. So I get two dice, but I am obstructed. So it's minus one success. Um, You're shooting. Yeah. But what I can do. Who are shooting? That one that well, one. let's go for this one. It, when you're obstructed, you're only ever obstructed once. God. Even if you meet multiple conditions. Right. Yeah, okay. But no, I'm, I'll go for this one. Okay. And yeah, I'll spend the two stamina. So that's, that's three. three. Minus one because it was obstructed. Two damage to skip from number five. And my manoeuvre, I will get back those two. Nice. Okay. End of round. Yep. It's done. Oh. We've been quite lucky with these. Okay, yeah. okay, so far. But it does mean all the fours are going to come out. It does mean that we've got a lot of fours. <laughs> and then it'll be loads and loads of skitters. Right. Next in. round. Yeah. Now, do I place. need to... No, I don't. No, I'm going to attack. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. Initiative card. Okay. Red enemies. Red nope. enemies. No. Red, Red heroes. heroes. Off you go. Them Repeat. again. Excellent. Mm. Matter jam. Matter jam today. Okay, one, two. Trying to do the same thing. Three, it's exactly four. the same. Four damage. Was it with your Plus axe? one because of the rate attack. Five damage, damage minus one, one, four damage. Down to seven. Yes. Mm. And then with my second action, I will recover and I'll be back again. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, uh, Skitterer. Repeat until fade. <laughs> Skitter next. Skitter, move one, bite three. Fully open eye. Fully open, spite. Can you take that? Because my yeah. bite is rubbish. Yeah. It's three damage. Oh, three shields. Yeah. Bang. Bang. No problem. Dodge that. Okay, then it's me, defender. Mm -hmm. You spend a stamina. I spend a stamina first, I should remember that. Do two dice. Two dice. Again, a shield. Uh, so that's one. one, two, two, three, four. Minus minus the armor is three. Three damage goes down to four. Yeah, 
And suddenly. And you've now got one shield for the rest of this round. I've got a shield, yeah. Okay. Hive Mother. Hive Mother. Now open it's fully eye. open eye. And it's and it's horns. Horned. So the horns basically means that she's got extra reach. Now the fully open eye for her is actually quite good. Because it's not attacking. It's not doing damage. It's just doing a web. Okay. So it does range two. It, it would be range two. Doesn't need two. Um, Taunt again, presumably. Yeah. Now, okay. this is this is a rules question. If Matajam had a higher taunt value, would it go for Matajam? Or is it always closest enemy first? As it is, you've got the highest taunt value. Mm. So... I get a web token. Yeah. So you are basically webbed, which is you are held. Yeah. So you've got this. You cannot move until you spend a manoeuvre to that's discard it. A, so that's a whole manoeuvre action to get rid of it. Okay. So, yeah, it's closest hero and then based on taunt. So it, it was you, but I could have chosen to take that instead. But okay. I, I think it's fine because right. we're not moving. Yeah, I can discard it with one manoeuvre. Yeah, one manoeuvre to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Nice. So That's not too bad at all. Uh, and that was Horned, which was an extra mm -hmm. reach. And then yeah. me. And then you. So I'll do my zap at this. Oof. So it's three, three minus one because of obstructed is two more damage. There you go. It's all right. Yeah. End of the round. End of the round. Here it comes. It's a three. Oh. Right. Next round. So, am I going to empower to get you some stamina back? That would be good. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack again. Okay. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm optimistic that I'll be able to finish it off. I've only got four health left. Yeah. So. Because I'm just going to go same again. Uh, good point. Smack. In which case, um, if you go early, if I do. Is you, are you earlier than me? Like, I could go I'm, manoeuvre. I'm, I'm red, and then I'm going to be smacking it up the bum with my axe. What did you find in here? Oh, you found the moon. I've got, I've got the moon, so I presume it's another one. Maybe it's these. You've got that. One that's got a. I've got the sun, which looks very much the like sun. It does, yes. <laughs> Not um, that we can see in there yet, but it is there. Um, so maybe it's over here. I mean, maybe I could try getting across here. Yeah. I don't know where the leaf and one we, is. We get to see that one. Maybe that's, that's the leaf one. Maybe that looks like it's something under there. Yeah. There's gonna be one here and one there, isn't there? So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go if you could, if you don't mind doing if you don't mind healing me a bit, I'll do extra manoeuvre because then yep. I can move yep. here. Lose one to do that. Okay. Initiative card. Okay. Red uh, enemies, then red heroes. Red heroes. Off you go. Okay. We'll Same see. again. Four damage, third time in a row. Yeah, come on. See if it happens. Uh, yes. Yep. That's two. Exactly the same. Exactly again. the same. Hive Mother is gone. See, I, oh, I, should turn, I could become a golf professional with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a swift strike. It certainly is. Okay. And then, um, now I can move. I, I could heal that back or... Move. Move I on. Could, you, maybe up here. There's I something up here. Spend another one. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And move three. Let's go for it. Um, well, of course, there's that. Oh, that's that gribbly there that still needs to be finished off, isn't there? Yeah, but we want you to kind of go into here because that's the thing. So, and you could do that. You could you could actually move into there just with two and have a go at it. Come on then, let's do it. So it's you, an agility check. Are you hindered? Oh, I'm hindered, aren't I? Because you him. are hindered. I'll wait until I finished him off first. Yeah. Yeah. Two, well, he's only got two hit points left. Okay, so that's the end of my go. Neither of us are attacking it though. Uh, I'm I'm also red. Mm. So I'm gonna use my empower on you first. Thank you. I have some more red dice. Cool. So you can have three back. Three. No, you can't have wounds back. No wounds, just just stamina. Uh, and then I've got my own maneuver. So where do you want me to go? No, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here. Okay. I'll come across here. 
and because that, time does that doesn't give you access to G, does it? No, no, because it's a red line. Yeah. So we haven't done G yet. We haven't done G. I'm just going to do a normal movement, which for me is two. R as well. So I'm going to go one, two. Ouch. Yeah, just one die. Two dice. Oh no, it's, yeah, two dice. So I've got a jump to sit, but it's two damage. No, no damage. No damage. Watch him expertly swerve through those blades. Yeah. Blade thorns. Or blade thorns. So I used my empower, and then I used my maneuver to go to there. Just checking what you did, Pete. You attacked, and then you did a maneuver to go there. I did. Yeah. Oh, big one. Oh, we should have dropped, should have something. dropped something. It dropped an Agura crystal. So that can be picked up by. Do you want to pick it up as you go as through? You, as you went by. I just since uh, you killed happened it. to just yeah. I just finished it off at the last. You did all the donkey work. And yeah, then just I did. Yeah, you're thinking. Where's that by? Where's where that, by? Where that, where where that go? Where's that treasure? <laughs> yeah. I've got four arms. You see. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was red. So blue next. Me. You've yep. both been yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use one maneuver to, to discard the web. web. Yep. Cut my way through the web. Second manoeuvre, I am going to see how far I can get. Now, um, that is joined to there, so it's one. So my plan was That's to go in ouch. here, have a look at this, and possibly go and get the Black Cat Mushroom. But yeah, oh, this is this is likely to be the plate that we need, okay. telling us the plate that we need, I would I, think. I'm thinking H. Yeah, I think this way. I think we've got to have H, haven't yeah. we? I think we're going to do this. But you've got the plate. I've got, well, I've, no, I've got moon. Yeah. But we don't know if that's moon, do we? No. And we won't know that until we get there. Do you want to drop the moon plate here? Because I don't think we need a plate up here. That's a hole in the hill. Good point. That's where we're going to find That's a good I'm point. I'm guessing we're going to find that's it. One that's there. a good point. Um, yeah, that's a good point. So you could just drop that here. Unless it's needed for no, we don't well we don't we don't we're not supposed to see in there, are we? Okay, yeah, we'll drop that there. Okay. I'll spend one stamina to be able to run. But one, two, three. Ouch. Stabby stabby. Is it? Oh I couldn't see that behind yeah. the dice tray. The you can say any to any time it's that okay. purple yeah. plant. That's two agility. One damage. One damage. Okay. okay. Second manoeuvre. No. That was, I used one manoeuvre to cut, cut the web. You did. So that's me now. Uh, skitterer. Yep. Closed eye with Closed horns. Closed eye with horns. So it's just, it's snooping around. Snooping around, not doing anything. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay. Green heroes, nope. nobody. I uh, hide my End of the round. It's two. Next round. Good. So I'm going to extra maneuver. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm going to do the same as before. Okay. Are you going to, <laughs> you going to finish that off? Yeah. And then come over here. And then go for a bit of a. Oh, oh Picard. Super. Okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah. We like that one. Uh, so red fest. Yeah. Swiftly. Well, let's just see if I can. Do what? Do the Watch stuff. Watch this, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you definitely succeed. Yes. It's uh, whether it costs you any stamina or not. Yeah. Right. Nice. That's the end of him. So now I got two maneuvers. Two maneuvers. Two maneuvers. So I could go all the way around here to this one. Mm -hmm. Um. What? Which? Which way are you thinking of going? In I there was going to go in there. Yeah. And then I was going to decide where to go. Whether to go to there. So you've got all those or, options. Or there to there and then back there. I don't so know. I can go one, two, one, two. Yeah. Or one, two, one, see what it is, and then possibly run screaming, or it's going to be one of those, isn't it? You think it's yeah, worth it's probably wasting two, two, two oh, movements to get Oh, I've got to do this first. I've got to do... Um, oh, yeah, can do that one. I've got to do my oh, first Oh, because you're not... Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I've got three dice. Right. Go on. Looking for four successes. That's one, two, um, three, four. Done. Nice. Okay, so flip card over. The precious moon egg. So you've got option A. You carefully pick the flower of the slender rush. You feel like the moon egg accepts you. Pleasant sentiment streaming from the pink stamen 
progressively filling you with calm and happiness. Gain the Moon Egg token and you recover two stamina. Well, that's nice. Take that. Is that it? Yep. So it's worth five stars, or you can discard it to, to remove an injury. Remove an injury. And we can tr we can pass these around where we yes. need. Yes. Um, so you've now got two manoeuvres. Two. And then, so that's my first manoeuvre. Second manoeuvre starts with that, and now I read So G. you're just doing two normal yeah. movements? Yeah. So we read G1. It's got to be a Blight Cat Mushroom. And it is a Blight Cat Mushroom. On the verge of the Forbidding Chasm grows a purple mushroom with a flower growing in its cap. It has the sweet smell of rotten fruit and seems to attract its share of insects. So if you're on the space, you can pick it up. You move on to its base, the mushroom has been picked. You pick the Blight Cat Mushroom and put it in your pouch. Ingesting it will reinvigorate you, but dried, it is a good ingredient for potions. Hmm. So we gain another one of those. Blight Cat Mushroom. So we are we are out of blight cat mushroom. Sorry, we're all we're all out. <laughs> More. And there you go. It's okay. worth one star because it's a circular piece. You're collecting things. You ain't got lots there. Yeah. Mine. Right. All done. So that was red. Yeah. Blue extra maneuver. Yeah. So we've both got three maneuvers. Yeah. So. My first manoeuvre will be just normal movement. I will spend one movement point to go to there. And I'm going to read R. R is a treasure out of reach. The chasm has split this historic house in two, drawing some of the moss and dirt into the chasm. Amongst the debris, you spot something vibrating. And upon a closer look, realise it might be a runic plate, but how can you reach it? <clears throat> So if I'm on this space, I can do an agility check. I need five. If I have the hook and rope, I'd get two. And there is a failure result. So I'm not going to try that. Okay. I'm going to wait for you because you've got the hook and rope. Well, I've got three dice. Yeah. So I've still got one movement point left for my first manoeuvre. And that's been done. So I'll go here. And I get to read you. Okay. U is a wall of azure light. The opening at the base of the hill is blocked by a wall of azure light. On the ground to the right of the opening, you spot an indentation of the same shape as a runic plate, decorated with symbol of a moon. So if you're on that space, you can put the moon runic plate on the slot and flip the card over. Right. So that was my first of three manoeuvres. Two manoeuvres left. So we need the moon play here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to use my second manoeuvre to go one, two. Blooming blade thorns. Two damage coming in. Two damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then my third manoeuvre will be there. Pick that up and back here. Because I move slow. Well, I do. I, 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 yeah, it cost me more stamina to go as fast as you guys did. Mm, okay. Right. So I'm. I've got three maneuvers. Uh, so I'm using ordinary maneuver. That's one. H zero. Read H. H. Right. H is blessed earth. Blasted earth. The hole on top of the hill has been made recently by tremendous energy bursting up from below. A heavy smell of sulphur and smoke lingers in the air. You see and hear magical lightning zapping around down in the hole, but fortunately not directly below you. So if you have the hook and rope, <laughs> you can discard the hook and rope item, put a hook and rope, and you can climb up or down, blah, blah, blah. Or you can just climb down into the hole by spending a manoeuvre. Yeah, I can do that easily. i got manoeuvres coming out. i got manoeuvres going, because I've only got one... I can spend a manoeuvre, but I've only used one of my manoeuvre points. Yes, so that's lost. Is it yeah. gone, is it? Okay. Well, another second manoeuvre is to go is down to the hole. down the hole, so we flip this card over. Yep. So, is there a hook and rope in H? No. no. If there was, you would have climbed down successfully. So if there isn't one, holding on to the edges of the hole, you lower yourself inside. You dangle in the air, trying to find something 
to place your foot on. <laughs> the edge is crumbling in your hand, so you need to do an agility check. Oh, no, Five. No, no. If you fail, you're going to take some damage. No, no, no. Don't I? You need this. Yeah. yeah. Can I just not stand on my shovel? <laughs> And if you get five, you don't fall. <laughs> I get five. Well, that's two. Two. And don't forget you've got crystals. Three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't get beyond four, unfortunately. Yeah. Achievement tokens, can only, you can only use one. So you, you fell, so now you take four damage, and it's a reactive might check. So you take three damage. Right. You are now in Z. Okay, so I've taken two damage there, and then... One of those flips over. One of that gets to another damage. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, it's close. It is close. close. So you've taken all of your... Stamina. All of my stamina. All eight now damage. So it goes down to... That's not Z, that's K. K. Oh, that's it. Oh, right. It's Z and K. Z oh. and K, yeah. So this stays here. Anybody can do that who's on here. Yeah. If anybody else is well, going to go. That looks there. easy. Yeah. yeah was, uh, so, which one do you want to read we'll, first? We'll, we'll Z or K? Let's go K, please. K. Because I'm right on, top, right on top of it. Arrived on your face. Yeah. <laughs> so, K is beneath the hill. <laughs> the corridors inside the hill differ greatly from the surrounding town. Oof. The walls are expertly made of white stone and illuminated by magic. This must be one of the structures left behind by the ancients millennia ago. But now, evil power sparkles all around you. Danger, danger. Well, well, it's over. You? Okay, so we need to reveal story card square. So two of the rooms, let's just have a look at this. Two of the rooms have slots outside of them. That one. That yeah. one and that one. Yeah. You may place the runic plate with the matching symbol on the slot to remove the adjacent X token. Yeah, okay. Which basically means it's 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 then open and we can go through it. Yeah. So okay. while the X token is there, it's treated as a barrier. When mm. the X token is not there, it's yeah. Also notice there are areas on the board with purple circles with funny icons in. So if we look over here, Ooh, these little lightning things. Yep. The picture of the rocks. So if you go onto that space, you take three damage. And a might check will reduce the damage. If you go onto this space, this is acid. It's three damage, mm. and an agility check avoids the damage. And this one is three damage, and it's a will check mm. to avoid the damage. So you're going to take damage every time you move onto a space containing one of those symbols. Okay. Z1. Z. Z, yeah. Oh, and we reveal square. It did say reveal story did, card square. Yeah. So summoning circles. The unmistakable presence of evil magic is confirmed by the recently etched summoning circles, which is a circle with a cross in it. You recognise the four-pointed arrow as the symbol of Aox, and the demonic runes suggest uncanny knowledge. So we need to reveal card three. Right, so card three is the symbol of the two monsters. All right, which is the Lumin Demons. Mm. So they each have 14 health, three per player plus five. They've got Provoke of one. They drop a Blood Crystal when you kill them. Um, and they do all sorts of nasty things, including causing you to bleed, oh, deal extra damage, charge at you. They've got a ranged attack. Uh, they've also got a bite. Now, that bite would happen before the other actions. Should it happen? But that, that is our mm. third type of enemy tonight. Okay. Timer. So we now need to start a timer. So I'm going to move the... In fact, I don't think we need that anymore. No. But I'm just going to put that, that. I'm going to put that off camera. Over. So we're going to start a timer here. So that discard pile stays like a discard pile. Yeah. yeah. But from now on, every time we turn a card over, it starts a timer. When that timer reaches 11, the three heroes... Spawn a Lumin Demon either in here or here, depending on the arrow on the card. Mm -hmm. And we put a circular token on this card. So every time a Lumin Demon spawns, we put a circular token on there. 
Once the fourth one of those has been placed, something nasty is going to happen. We lose the game. No. We, we lose the scenario. Okay. But remember, there's a fail forward. So the scenario fails, but we carry on playing. Yep. Yep. It's just a different outcome. Okay. Um, okay. If you kill a Looming Demon, it does not remove a token. So we are now on a time limit. Right, we need to get on with it. Yeah. So we need to get in there. And we need to we need to basically get these barriers down and, so we can get in Zed. and see whatever's in there, yeah? And now Zed. So Zed is Shantor's saving sphere. Down in the vault, you see Shantor lying inside a magical bubble. The only thing saving her from the magical lightning and red Aox energy crackling in the room. You might be able to save her if you could stop the two magics clashing in the vault. So, if you're on the Z space, and we have saved the scrolls, which we didn't, we didn't manage to save the scrolls. That was, we, that we, was from we, previously, yeah, wasn't it? It was from previously. But we can look closer if you're on that space, which you are. So we can flip this over. Oh. That looks like it goes on the board. It's like the orb. It does. Have we got it? Is that it? Nearly. That's it. There you go. Right, so she's in that bubble. I think that's all of your story points. But I've lost track of how many manoeuvres you had. <laughs> that was two, wasn't it? I've used, yeah, I've, I've done two. You've got two manoeuvres. First one manoeuvre left. Get to the hole. Yeah. The second, second one, one was to fail dismally at trying to climb down it, yeah. which is why you just landed in there um, face first. So now you've got another manoeuvre. Yeah, one manoeuvre left. Which could be to heal. Heal three. <laughs> Seems like the wisest option. I'm looking at this map. I'm mm -hmm. not on P, presumably. There is a line that goes right through there. There's a double line around her. Oh, double line around her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to go around the outside. Yeah. And what was this? That's just telling oh, you where, where to put it. Okay. Where to put That's that. fine. I'm going to recover three. Three health. Three. Okay. So that's blue heroes done. No green heroes. Uh, now we. This doesn't spawn this turn. Well, this doesn't go this turn because it spawned. We need. No, there's no demons on the board at the moment. I don't, I don't, think, there's, there's I, I don't think there's any enemies on the board at no. the moment. So, yeah, done. So, end of the round. End of the round. Okay, so we are, we are starting the timer. And the timer starts with a three. So, when it gets to 11, we spawn the first yep. demon. Yep. Uh, there should be an X marker on there. As well. So there should have been six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. With no enemies to fight. Um I think it's well it's it's manoeuvring for me. It is for me because I need to heal again. Because I, I, I will probably use one I'm, of my maneuvers to heal. Because I'm I'm, I'm gonna try and come down here and put this plate. Because I've got damage to moving in. So presumably what what we need to do is to get into these guys. And we can only get into we these. Don't know, do we? Well, but the sun plate that I'm carrying will allow us to get into there, whatever that does. We don't know. This plate. We don't know where. We don't even know where that is, do we? Is. But there's there's one down here that we want you to get, which we're hoping will let us well, get there's, in. Well, there's something down there. The front door. There's a door. There's, there's a door there. Doors. We don't know which. Yeah, that's the moon. That's the moon door. That's the moon one. That that's it. the leaf one. Oh. We don't know where the leaf one is, but we know we, that there is the a treasure down here. And that's the only one. That is a runic plate. That's the only one. Which has to be the leaf. Nah, it's got to be the leaf. Yeah. We don't think that's not what's gone. But you don't really need to we, go we don't, way, we do we? don't need the leaf. Don't we we don't need two ways. Just, just, just there might be an achievement for getting something, doing all of the stuff. Anyway, I'm choosing extra manoeuvre. Yeah, I'm manoeuvring. So when you say we don't need the leap, are you suggesting that I don't bother with that? I'm saying we I don't... Yeah, going? I'm thinking if I because go there the with leaf the moon, is, leaf opens and this we door. open this, we've got a way in. So I don't think we need the we, leaf. It doesn't make any sense to open that one as well and come in that way. I, because think, it's, I think it's quicker for you to get in this that way. That would cost me a turn yeah. to do that. And we think that's going to be the leaf. Well, it's a runic plate. Yeah. yeah. And metagaming it, it's got, it's got to be the leaf. Because... Well, it could be one of these. It could be that one. Oh, it could, and the leaf, the leaf could be a, a red herring. It could be that there is no way in there. Yeah, could be. You're probably safer to go and get it. 
just in case. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Extra maneuver. Yeah, are you ready? So we shuffle. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I think putting my kind of role playing game head on, I probably would go in and get it. Yeah, there might be. Just just to be sure. Gaffer cakes or something. Well, now you're, now you're putting it that way. I'm definitely <laughs> going in there. It might be another hook and rope that you can throw me and I can climb out of it and run away. <laughs> you want one of these? <laughs> All right. I yep. think you're in the thick of it down there. Here we go. So there's no enemies, so we no can enemies. the order of heroes. Okay, so red. Red, green, blue. Yep. Any reds? No. Nope. Green, me. Nope. So I will exert to go one, two, three, and then I will try my luck at... So you, it's an agility check. Yes. You need five, but because you've got the hook and rope... I've got plus two. You've got plus two. Okay. Yes. Four, six. So, option A, success. You manage to dig out the runic plate from the chasm. As you hold the resonating object in your hands, you notice it is marked with a leaf symbol. Gain the runic plate with the leaf on it. Remove this card from play. Okay, so that was my... That was your first so maneuver. I've had one maneuver. Um, my second maneuver... Um... Will be to go uh, one, two. Now no, you uh, go uh, there. It's only one dot. Ah, and you've got the thing. So maybe you do want to go over there. <laughs> maybe go usually because you'll get there before I get here. And maybe maybe I don't bother going here. Maybe I just come through here. Uh. So you go through the blade thorns. Yeah, we, we don't mind blade thorns. So one, we you're going to have to exert to move three if you want yeah. to. Move yeah, um, you've got a gap. You've got a gap there. Look. Yeah, so you that's can go one. through there. Yeah, one, and then two. into there and into there. Oh, okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, we're masters of blade thorns. Blade thorns never do any damage to us. It says the, uh, the, the dice book. That one. Just watch this, everybody. Yeah, here we go. Oh, ouch! <laughs> two damage. Yes. <laughs> There and there, but you can now do that. If you place the leaf runic plate on the slot. Yes. Do I discard that? You put it on there. Oh, okay. We flip this over. The runes are aligned. You carefully place the wildly vibrating runic plate on the stone carving. They attach together with a satisfying click. The runic plate goes still, crackles with magical power, and you see the lightning disappear from the doorway. So we remove the X token, which means yeah. that is now a single white line. Okay. That was the end and of your... K was that the end of your... is movement? actually just that. So we don't need to read a... Yeah. And there's no teleportation between Ks, is there? No. Oh. K just tells you what's in here. Okay. Yeah. One of the three ways of getting in. Yeah. Was that the end of your... That is the end of my game. Maneuver. Right. Okay. No Blue. enemies. Me and you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and see what L is all about. Well, I do mind because mine's quite quite quick. Oh, go on then. I'm going to use one manoeuvre to get that back and another manoeuvre to go in there. Can you get through there? Uh, you can go through because oh. there's friends. If there's stop. any enemies, yeah. you couldn't. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that's made up. Okay. I'm going to use a standard. Do you read X. Oh, I read X. Oh yes. X. Oh, the spot. Rocks and rubble. The floors of this corridor are covered in fallen rocks and debris. Next to a huge rockfall is plenty of rubble that you would pay little attention to, except something neat seems to be moving under it. So I can search the rubble if I was on the space. Plus two successes if I had a shovel. Plus one success if I had a torch. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but I did speak to a toggle once. Did I tell you that? Right. And, okay. And you risk damage to get on the space in the first place, don't you? Uh, it's an agility check. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it's a might. Rocks is might. might. So I'm okay. rubbish at that. I'm, I'm, You're no, not there. You're no, not there. You're not going to do that. So I'm. I'm questioning. So what's what's the lightning strike? 
it's Will, which is two. It's okay. It's not. It's no different to me. Okay. Yeah, you're um, two, two, two. So any. Of yeah, the, that's fine. Well, I'm going to do that. So are, are you? Are you? Are you yeah. done? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go here then. So I'm going to do an ordinary manoeuvre. Ordinary movement. Ordinary movement. Two movement points. One Two. goes to there, and we read L. L. L is a wall of lightning. The wall of light crackles with violent power, shocking you if you go too close. Mm. Insects that are drawn towards it are buzzed to death <laughs> upon touching the magical lightning. <laughs> yeah. Something inside seems to power it, but you cannot see any way of turning it off. Ah. So... If you have revealed a card with the power is now off, no, we flip this over. So we can't do anything with this until we've found until something we else. somehow have turned the power off. Hmm. And then we can flip this card over. Have we missed something out here? I don't no. think we've missed anything out I don't here. Think we have, have we? But there's there's lots there's in here. Lots in here to do. It's dangerous to move around. So this this particular wall, this is blocked. You can't open this until the power has been yep. turned off. Okay. Well, that was movement point number one. Second movement point. Uh, we, oh, but hang on a minute. Don't I have to do this test? Oh, you do. All yeah. Right. When you moved on to that yeah, space. Yeah, I do. I better do that test. That's two for me. Three damage. Three damage. Minus one. Two damage. Two damage. Okay. And here goes the second movement point. P. No nasty icons on there. P. Well, it's got this red cross on it, which doesn't yeah. look like the normal red cross. So this is a wall of ruby light. The corridor is blocked by a wall of ruby light. Next to the magical wall, an evil mark has been hastily scrawled on the floor. Yeah. So I said we were going to have some new rules. Mm. We now have the rules for progressive ability checks. So this hourglass here means that you need nine total successes on this. And however many successes you get in one particular check stays on there. Right. Okay. So you can destroy the symbol and you can do this check. And every time you do the check, if you've got a shovel, you get plus one. Uh, and when you've got a total of nine, you can flip it over. Or you can drain the symbol's power, but only if you've got that particular runic plate. I haven't. Which you haven't. But I do have a shovel. And there you go then. So, digging. Okay, and it's a test, so I can do it. I'm just on, doing I'm it. On it. Yeah. Okay, and the test is might. Might. Well, that's two for me. And you've got plus one success because you have a shovel. Yeah. So at the moment it's not two. Uh, no. No, it's not no, exploding. It's no, just stamina no, it's if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. So it's three. So you've got three successes on here. Let's track it blank. So it's got three. Nice one. Oh, plus one from the sh shovel, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, you've right. still got one manoeuvre left. I've got a manoeuvre left. I'm guessing you're going to heal. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> can't, can't, so really, badly I can't really trust that, can I? So yeah. I'm going to take three. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's it. That's enough. End of the round. So the timer ticks on, and it's another three. <clears throat> Mm. I, I took all the fours out of this. Yeah. <laughs> this morning I was bored, so I just I thought I'd take out all the fours. Yeah, it's going to be a four next. Uh, the shovel has to be an active item. Ah. So technically, okay, you need to. Okay, so I need yeah, to. Have, I need it's to fine, you can do that on your turn. Okay, let's say that I yeah. remembered to do that. Yeah. Any, anything where there is something listed. It needs to be active. It needs that to makes be active, sense. Not, that makes not in your dark sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay, end of round. Next I'm, round. I'm manoeuvring. Well, right. there's nothing else <laughs> there's nothing that we need fight, to do yet. Is there? We don't have any fights on. There's no enemies. No. So. Not at the moment. Well, we, yeah, I mean, they I can. I think we're about to. Trigger. If we trigger something. Bring some into existence. Yeah. They'll come in here. So I'm, I'm just going to choose manoeuvre. Yeah. Nobody needs me to do any. I mean, I could empower you and get your stamina back. Um, If you were feeling generous. Yeah, sure. I've still got a lotus flower, so I can do stuff here myself. Is there a range to that? Range yeah. three, yeah. Yeah. Okay, initiative. Initiative. Red monsters, red uh, blue monsters. Oh, red heroes red. with an extra, extra maneuver. maneuver. So that's me. Well done. Mm. So I'll do that's my empower nice. on you. Yeah. Very nice. Need one more done. Wow. 
and you can get back. I'll spend the stamina so you can get back four. Thank you. Nice. Okay, then my first maneuver is to recover three. And then my second maneuver. Who's got the shovel? Me. You got the shovel. I've got the torch. You got the torch. So you can do hole. that. Because it's a might check. I'm I'm rubbish at that. That's that's no good for me. But I do have the sun plate. Worth you going through that. So, yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna move two. Lightning. And I have to do yeah. this on the way, which is... Oh, I'm good at that. So it's three damage. One damage. One damage. Okay. That was worth it. Now, what I could have done is I could have actually spent two stamina to move the extra one. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do yeah. it. Okay. Let, let's spend the two stamina to actually move three. Yeah. One, two... Three, because now you can do the card. As it said on, it said on somewhere that if you've got a thing, you can do a thing. It said it on the K's, I think. Yes. Place the runic plate on the matching symbol to remove the X token. Yeah. So that is now open. You can go in there in the future. Right, got it. Did you have an extra maneuver? Have you done two? I have. So you I done... used my thing. I yep. then recovered and then, yeah, and then did a move. So right. okay. yep. Good. So that that's now open. That is now, open. now open. Right. You can't okay. see it because you're too far away. Right. Yeah. And then blue. So that's me. Blue heroes. Yep. Okay. So I'm so going to. Two maneuvers. Oh, two maneuvers. So you can do your check for free. Uh, oh, yes. I can. Yeah. That's... And you can get in here. The door's open. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. It looked like yeah, there used I didn't to be a runic that. plate there, maybe, yeah. but not there anymore. I'm not sure I won't be next to that summoning point. So you've got oh, a shovel. So two, I've got a shovel. So it's three, three more. successes at the moment. You need nine in total. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it again. Second move. You can only do each test box. Oh, well, of course you can. Uh, so do so I... you could do so... that by spending two stamina and achievement. But whether it's worth it, I don't know. You could just heal. The it's the wall of red light, isn't it? Yeah, it's a wall of ruby light that you're destroying by bashing it with a shovel. Yeah. That's what I would do. Would you? Yeah. Can you hear me outside? I mean, you're quite badly wounded. Do you need but... this book and rope? I'm, yeah, I'm concerned that if I get in there, I'll trigger something, okay? Because it's it's yeah. within one of Q. Spend your second action healing. I do. I think well, you've I... not done anything yet. You've got two manoeuvres and you've not used any of them. Oh, that's true. That was just a free action. So you okay. Could just... Oh, let me heal first. Take three. Yep. Okay, let's recover. Okay, and then I am going to go now. One, two, and I'm going to go on it for three. Well, see what Q is before you. Yeah. Do. I can do that. But well, no, because I have to decide whether I'm going to spend it. You have to make a decision. It. Yeah, I have to decide whether to spend it or not. Yeah. And I'm, I am going to spend it. So you've got three movement points. Yeah. So okay, two there. go to there. So yeah. stop there. Stop there. Read Q. And we read Q. Right. Q says... Destruction. There is little left of this room as someone has recently broken the wall, leaving only a pile of rocks and dust and a summoning circle for Aeox demons. In the corner of the room, you see a pedestal, which seems to be meant for an Agura crystal, mm. but there is just a runic plate on the floor leaning against the pedestal. So you gain the star runic plate, and if you are on this space and you discarded an Agura crystal, then you can flip the card over. So there's no point you going on to on there. Hugh unless you have an Agura crystal. Okay, uh, in which case I will go, my third point will come back out. Uh, which, yeah, it's only there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So that's you done. That's me done. Is that it? No, uh, Green Heroes. Green Heroes Matty next. Jammed. Yes. Two manoeuvres. Well, I could go over here and follow him down. Well, you because... can't get through that. Oh, you mean up Big. there and round and you could? Yeah. But the door's open here. It's just that I can't go through there on the inside. But if I do go around the outside, it'll take me it'll an extra turn to get there. But I have got the hook and rope. Um, and I have got 
these crystals. Um, so yeah. with a one turn delay, I can be on the scene if this is where all the action okay. is going to happen. I can come back here and dig, can't I? And I can, I can come through here so and that's, do this bit. That's option number one. Yeah. Option number two is to go in there, use the torch on this, and then just see what happens in here. Yeah. So um, has anybody got any preferences? It's up to you. I thought, I'm afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> um, well, we should find out how to turn the power off, don't we? We've got to turn the power off to get in there. And we don't know. We don't know quite what this is going to do. No. Um, well, there's something that looks suspiciously like a big. Well, it looks like a grindstone. Uh, yeah. Well, well, actually, it's got it's runes for, on it. It's for sharpening uh, cutlery. But it's it's got runes on it. It's like a. Don't know. Okay. We can't I'm see gonna, it yet. I, we, can't, we can't see it yet because we're not in there. I, I think. I think I'm. I'd much rather go in here and find stuff that we haven't seen before, but I think I would be most useful going in that way. So let's do that. So just these are just two ordinary manoeuvres. I'm not going to boost them. One, two, one, two, and then next. Yeah, because it is a manoeuvre to yeah go down there, isn't it? So that's it. That's my that's my turn. Where was H? H. So you can discard. A hook and rope item to place a hook and rope token in this area and then if there is a hook and rope token on h you successfully climb down by using the hook and rope oh, yeah. that it's, not on, it's not a that's maneuver. an action that's yeah. an action not a maneuver to do so correct okay yeah it looks like it's only a maneuver to climb down into the hole right master jam needs to roll for the blade up the hill yes there's, there's blade thorns up there. Yeah, we can't see it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Blade thorns. Yeah, all yeah. right. Done. So, yeah, if you discard the hook and rope item, that's gone. Um, you put, put, you put uh, that there and you discard that. And now a hero in this area may discard the token to gain the hook and rope item. Yeah. So, um, I don't get to go down there this turn. I just get to do the. No, you do. You successfully climbed down. Oh, you? do I? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We yeah. did get something wrong here, though. On your turn, you can't get the plate. The plate is there. Ah, yeah, I picked up the plate. Gaining, I... gaining the plate, you have I to be on the I need to be on there. The... Okay. So did you want to go into the space to gain the plate or not? No, because we don't know where the plate goes. We, we do. Just... The plate allows you to do the other test for this to drain the power instead of destroying it. Oh, no, I'm just going to destroy it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because so yeah, you can you can go beat it to death with this yeah. shovel. <laughs> Age is lighting that. Yeah, right. it's, it's not breaking that dungeon. <laughs> right. Oh, are we all done? Yeah. Right. Timer takes on. It's another three. It's going to go next time. It's probably going to go next. It's time. going to go next time. Yeah. Our first demon appearance yeah. will appear there. Yeah. It'll appear right in, right in front of me. So next round, I am going to choose extra maneuver. Yeah, me too. I think. No, I am. Yeah. Initiative. All the monsters doing nasty stuff. And then us. And, and then, then us. us. Red. No. You two. Then Blue. Me. Okay, extra manoeuvre. Uh, ma normal manoeuvre. One point into here. Bash the ruby Bash. light with the shovel. The shovel gives me plus one. That's enough. Two, three. Okay, so we flip it and read option A. Option A says the ruby wall falls, remove the X token overlapping this area, and we remove story card W from the game. So story card W is what you would have got if you'd have come at it from the other direction. Okay. So mm -hmm. we, we don't have that, so we just get rid of it. Uh, option A, you've destroyed the symbol. The chalk markings are easy to smear, but in doing so, you release the magical energy which engulfs you. Fortunately, the ruby wall flickers and dies out. Anybody in P... Takes four damage, agility check to avoid. <laughs> four damage. damage. Ouch. That but that, the way is now open. Okay, so I've used one movement point. You've used one movement point of your first manoeuvre. So, <laughs> get, me, you know, get me acid. Um, shame I don't have that. Um, and you weren't you weren't going fast. You were just doing a normal. Yeah, just ordinary one. I've got one point left of the ordinary. Um, I'm not sure I can see what to do now. Come to this heal and heal up. To be, um, 
Yeah. Well, we need to find the butterfly. We need to find that. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Oh, it might be. In, it might be. Ah, uh, they might. No, there was something be buried. There. there was something there moving under the rubble. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to heal anyway. So I need to heal. So my second se- maneuver second maneuver is to heal. Me cup. next. So I've got two maneuvers. My first maneuver is to go there and then there. That's nice. Rolling for that on the way. Now have an extra blue dice, please. So it's three damage coming in. Ouch. Three damage coming in. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, but in fact, when I move well, on to the I've got one first. movement point left. Yeah. It is a mill of runes. Close to the stone table, there seems to be a millstone half embedded in the floor itself. The heavy wheel is marked with glowing runes, and there is an axis in the middle suggesting it can be rotated. So again, this is another progressive check that needs two per player plus five. So I need you need eleven successes on here. Yeah, okay, right. And I am rubbish at might. Yeah, I'll come in. Absolutely. I'm, 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 rubbish. I'm not much good, but so I've got two. For my second movement point, I think I'm just going to come back out. Okay. And then I'll use my other manoeuvre to get two health back. Because might is not my strong point. That's me done. Green. Well, um, I seem to have chosen the least good option here because I've ended up at the back. <laughs> Whereas I could have almost been in the in here. Yeah. Um, but never mind. We didn't know. There was the stuff here to do. Yeah. We can't do anything here. That's with the power the off. The power has been turned off. So we need to figure out how to turn the power off, which looks as it's possible it might be well, that. It's, it's or either it might that, be that, 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 or probably, yeah. unlikely, but that. That's so, like, I think that's likely to be, or that's likely to be. There's nothing Oh, there's there. nothing there, sorry. No. That's likely to be this. Yeah, I mean, there's something moving under the rubble. Mm. So we know that vibrating, these runes play they, they vibrate, vibrate, don't they? Yeah. Might as well head that way. So I'll use a stamina to move three. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Oh. How are you doing? I used to have a... Do you want a shovel? Um, no, I, I used to have a... Do you um, want a shovel? Uh, there's a kind of rope there, Do you, want, do you want a shovel? If you were thinking of coming down that hole. Okay, but I can give you a shovel. <laughs> um, well, you're the kind of shovel master, aren't you? Didn't it say something? Well, okay, oh, it's fine. Um, if I'm headed that way, yes, I could use the shovel, actually. That's a good idea. Shovel is plus two rather than a torch, which is plus one. Why can I use both? I've got four hands. Well, it doesn't say you can't, so... Oh, yeah. The multi, multi-handed. And, right. I can, and I can be kind of cooking the dinner with my other hands. I'll tell you what, have a shovel. Thank you. So that was my first action. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, one, one two, two, three. three. Oh, in which case, I won't spend the extra. I'll just go... One, two, but I've got to do an acid thing. Here. Acid yeah. test, which is uh, three damage, but an agility check negates it. Uh, three damage. Ouch. We're taking a lot of we damage. Are, we are now. Yeah, I'm getting burnt with acid. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. going to take damage if I go. Oh, out there. here, a Gura crystal. That's something you could have done. Oh yeah, we forgot that. Did didn't you we? want to give an Agura crystal to Paul as you were going through? That was the star one, though, wasn't it? And we know what the star. Well, one. no. So. There's a there's a star thing lying on the floor, but nice. also you can put an Agura crystal in the pedestal. We don't know what that is. We don't does. know what it does yet. Not that. Okay, we swapped. Yeah. Swaps yeah. Is one Thanks. magic item for a shovel. Yeah. It seems like a fair trade. I think I got the best of that. <laughs> <laughs> he says as the uh, right. put some place on him. Boom. Wheel done. End of the round. Yeah. Timer says five. Oh. Now, this, is, this is doubly bad. Now it starts. Because the timer has activated, yes. and now those go into there, that starts the next no. Yeah, It's already nearly halfway up. So we put a circle on there, and we spawn a looming demon there. A looming demon. Looming demon number one, please. Okay, well, it's going to be number three. One at random. Yeah, it's random. Uh, okay. There. Okay. Okay. So they have three health per player plus five. Who's it that's got that 14. crystal that's going in there? Oh, that's you. Thanks for that. So fourteen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I've changed my mind now. Right. Is that the end of your was, maneuvers? Well, that was the end of the round. Yeah. Yeah. Finished. All right. Okay. Well so next round. I've, I've nothing else to do. I've opened this door. 
I can't do that because it needs might. I can't do that because it needs might. So I can go up here and start. What about that one? We, don't well, we need the butterfly plate. No, we don't have okay, so uh, the butterfly plate we think is here. Do we? No, the star. No, the, star the star plate. We think the butterfly plate is here. Right. Okay. Which, you're, which you're digging for. So shall I come in here and do this? I'll come, I'll come this way and go here. We're not very efficient, are we? We're going this. We're not. But never mind. I'm going to choose... Uh, anybody need much stamina back? No. No, I'm okay. I'm going to do extra maneuver. I'm going to choose runic creation in the hope that it's green. They're red. The looming demons are red. So they normally go quite fast. One... Two, and then it will come round, and then I'll be able to attack four. it. Mm -hmm. Did the roll. Yep. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Yep. A blue monsters, none of them. Red monsters. Okay. So the Lumen Demon goes next, and it is the half open eye. So Movement's it's three. moving three, and then it's going to do a tail slice. Mm. So it moves one, two, three. So it's in there with me, with you. That area is now full. And it's going to slice you with its tail. So three damage, agility check to negate. No damage. Okay. Uh, so Phil just pointed out that Master Jam went through L. So eight ages ago. Yes. Oh. You went through L. To get okay. there, you did. I've been through L. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's quite a while back, but we did miss it. Okay, so I need to roll for that. Yeah. It's one. How many damage? Three. Oh. Mm. Minus however many I get on this. Okay. Possibly going to be doing some healing. Yeah, I think it might be some, doing some resting. Possibly. Okay, yeah. so we've, we've fixed that. Thank you for spotting that. Yeah. So. Have you taken your damage? I didn't get any damage. Oh, you I'm didn't get any damage? Roll shields. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. So that's it. That's it done. So that's okay. red monsters done. Red uh, heroes. Red heroes. Nope. nope. Blue heroes. Blue heroes. That'd be me. Extra yep. maneuvering. Now, I'm going to take damage by moving out, aren't I? Am I going to take damage? You have one. He's got a provoke of one. Provoke of one. Well, I'm going to do that anyway. I think it's too bad. I'm going to manoeuvre out, I'm going to leg it, I'll take one damage. So normal movement? No, uh, no, this is going to be uh, one, two, three. Speedy movement? It's speedy movement. Okay, so stamina, speedy movement. Yeah. Move out, take the damage from the provoke. Which I did. Move into the area with acid. All right. Three damage, agility check in the gate. Might have been better to heal first. No, that's okay. Three. Three. Oh, nice. Provoke. It was one no. provoke, which he's taken. I've taken that. Two uh, more movement points left. One, two, three. There's two of us There's in there. There's two dots. That's fine. That's fine. Second. So your first maneuver. Second is an ordinary maneuver. Do you want to or do you want to heal? Oh, yeah. I've got to go through the lightning. I didn't calculate that, did I? If you do a normal maneuver, yeah. you will get to do the test. Yes, yeah, that's what I was hoping to do. But So you but, can do it. Yeah. It's not going to kill okay, you. Okay, so if it well, it's not going to kill me. But reality is, if I roll all, if I roll three, yeah, I'm going to do one of those. those. It's not yeah, a, it's a right. problem. Still a problem. No problem at all. Okay, so let's do that. So uh, normal maneuver one mm -hmm. into there. Yeah. Roll. Ah, it's only one damage. One damage. On yes, to the, M. Now you can do this. Okay. So it's a mic. Mic for this two for me. None of us have been focusing much in this scenario because we've been too busy. No, we've been too to get running there. around. I wanted yeah. to get there to just try it, though I can focus next turn. Mm. But hopefully that'll be a long time before he gets to me. Okay, so it's one. That's one. Two. Two. Could spend that for three. I think I will. Okay. So three successes so far. We need eleven. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Okay. Blue. Any more blue? No. Okay. Green monsters, none. Green. Okay. Um well one manoeuvre is gonna to be to move there. 
and I will discover that I need to use the shovel and the torch. So I'll move in there. Did you want to heal before that? Because that's a, a rocky oh, area. A, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my first, yes, my first will be to heal. Get two um, health back. Get two health back. Then you move in there and you take three damage, but might check negates. Blue dice looking for car doors. Yep. One. One. So you take two damage. There you go. But you are now there, so you can have a go at this. So yes. you've got the shovel, you've got the torch. So you do a might check and you get plus three successes. Looking for five. Come on in. Oh no. I can use a crystal. You can use an achievement token. Yeah. Buried treasure. Underneath the rubble, you discover a glowing Agora crystal and a dusty runic plate now vibrating in your hands. It features the carving in the shape of a butterfly, which is the symbol of Somini, the goddess of love. Gain an Agora crystal. And the butterfly. That's a butterfly. So it's worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. Looks more like it. Yeah. Okay, it's a butterfly. It's upside down. Right. You all done? Maybe. Maybe. Butterflies can fly up as well, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use my runic trajectory to zap that. Good idea. One, two, Protection. three. Protection. Protection. Range three. Nice. No hindrance this time. No obstruction. No hindrance. Time. No obstruction. None of that nonsense. Blasted in the face. I spent two stamina. So three so damage. Three damage. You got armor? No. Okay. And my second maneuver. No, sorry. My, my maneuver is to get three of those back. Nice. End of the round. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a two. I haven't done that yet. No skitter. Okay. Primer is on seven. Okay. We're okay. We might get one more turn. I'm going there. Next round. I'm, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to sit here and blast it. Although well, it'll probably I'm, move I'm focusing towards on. me. What's your plan now? I think I need to heal because otherwise I'm going to end up getting... Yeah. Um, and prison. your plan is just to just carry on doing... I'm reasons. going to do that. I'm focusing. I mean, I say I'm rubbish at it. I'm only one dice. But... But you, but you're doing a great job with this. Well, gradually, slowly but surely. <laughs> okay, I'm chosen. Yeah, me too. Yep. Yeah. Blue, okay. Blue monsters. Blue monsters. Red heroes. Red heroes. Me. Focus. I'm trying. Uh, so you get plus one dice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna recover first. So your maneuver is to get three health back. Yeah. And then. You're going to do the check. I'm going to so do it's the a mind check. check, but because you're focusing, you get plus one dice. I get plus one, yes, thank you. Right, that's two, three, four. Two more rollers. Five. How many more do we need? Um, we need 11. You need 11, so that's five. So I could do two more. Two more on a crystal. Two more on a crystal it. would do it. Yes. Yeah. Or. Leave it till next turn. Why? Finish it off next turn. Because well, you get a free go at it next turn. Before you move away. Yes. Okay. Stop there then. Yeah. So that's Red Heroes. Next. We needed 11. We need 11. Two, oh, you're, you're counting up. Two per player. Yeah, you're, you're, you're counting, counting up. up. Okay, that's so fine. Cool. Yep. Good. So, Red Monsters with the Horns. So it's half open eye. Uh oh, with the horns. So it's doing its piercing. It's, Pierce, it's a tail, tail it's slice with pierce. Four damage. So it moves to me because I. Oh no. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it moves to me. Can it move three? In fact, it is moving three. It is move three. One, two, three. Can it move into that area? It can. Yeah, it can. It's not large, is it? It's not large. No. So it's four damage. Agility check to negate. Oh, ouch! That hurt. Hurts a lot. That did. Can you cast empower on yourself? Yep, yeah. but that doesn't heal. That doesn't heal though. Does recover it? stamina. Mm. Um, well, that's a pain. Yeah, that's not so great. Okay. Okay. Blue heroes and then green heroes. So I'm I'm in a. Ah, yeah, did forget 
whenever an enemy enters one of these spaces, they take a damage. Ah. I didn't read that at the time, but yeah, whenever an enemy moves to any of the spaces with a purple thing on, they yes. take a damage. Right. So it, it did take a damage. Yeah, it took a damage on the way in. Okay, good. But now we're in the situation where it's obstructed. But I don't think I have a choice. I am gonna. I'm gonna attack it. Minus one success. I will use a stamina. No, I won't. What I'm gonna do here. No, I am gonna use a stamina. So that's three. Minus one because it's obstructed. Two. Two. So it's down to eight. Then as my maneuver, I am going to recover those two. Mm -hmm. Cause it's hin because I'm hindered. And then I'm gonna eat a Star Lotus get two more. to get those two back. Mm. Nom nom nom. Yeah, nice. Right, that's me done. Pete, hey, you've got well, two manoeuvres. I was going to double heal, mm -hmm. um, but I could just do a single and then move over there. Well, no, there's no difference. I might as well just do the double. double yeah, otherwise double, double heal because you're, you're gonna... so short on. Yeah. yeah. So double heal. Yeah. I could eat a mushroom, but I'll, I'll leave the or leave, eat a lotus, but I'll leave the decision till next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yeah. End of the round. Mm. It's a four. Ooh. So we're at 11. Ooh. So what that means is we get our second Circle. Lumin Demon. On there. So where's this one coming out? It's a left arrow, so it's coming out here. Okay. And which number have we got? Five. Oh, like right. Well, one, four. The future is taken care of. Lumin Demon number four comes out there. And because it's a four, we get a Skitterer. Oh. So which skitterer do we have? I get that as well. Yeah, it's still it's, going. It's the right arrow. It comes crawling out. from below. It comes out here. So which skitterer is it? Five. Skitterer number five. There you go. Okay. There's no right, way to then, stop that. That card carries on that crawling out from below. That goes there. So they don't. They, they don't stop crawling out from below yeah. if the hive mother's gone. No, it's still coming out. Yeah. The oh. third timer has been revealed. So I don't think I have a choice. I'm just going to wish I'd have chosen a melee attack, I think. But that, that was quite useful during the fight with the Hive Mother. Okay, I'm focusing. So I'm going to do that. I'm determined to do that. Well, you'll do it anyway. Uh, well, will I? I mean, I need three more. I don't think you need to focus. Don't you? I mean, you could. It's two. No, I don't think you need to. I think you could try uh, And then you pay for it. Yeah. And then pay for it. I, I think you would. You only need three. I need three. You are going I could to. You're pay, rolling two I dollars. could pay. I could pay yeah. to boost it. And if you roll two ones, you could use an achievement token to get the three. You could get the three. Without you, without, without focusing. focusing which, means I, which means I could. Time. Yeah, which means I could probably you then help out in the, in the, uh, yeah. in the fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Initiatives. Because we've got two demons. Time's now running out. Right. Blue. Blue heroes. Nobody? No. Red heroes. Me. Okay. Okay. Well, well, um, let's, let's think about my options for this turn. You've right. got to be in there to attack it, haven't you? Yeah. I'm going to move in here. Yep. With this little demon fellow. And I'm going to smack him in the face with an axe. So Don't miss. Two dice. Plus one of the great axe. <laughs> it's currently two damage. Um, make, it, make it four. Four damage. Okay. That's it? Yep, that's my go. Um, unless I use that. Star Lotus. He'll say, yeah. Potentially. I could also use that. Four's okay, though, isn't it? Yeah, just about. Because um, I could 
use this if I need to. Yeah, but you'll make it around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that was red heroes. Yep. Red enemies. It's the open it's eye. The looming demon. So they are. Move two. Pincer attack. Move two, attack three. Well, neither of them need to move. Yeah. So this one attacks me. Three damage might negate deer. Hmm. So, two damage. Two. Uh, and that's it. And on you, Pete? Four, yeah. Same thing. How many damage? It's might. It's three damage. Might negates. Two damage on you. Right, that's them done. Blue enemies. Skitterer. Yeah, well, it's outside the door. It's open eye, so it moves one. Green heroes with an extra manoeuvre. Oh, yeah. no, perfect. That's nice. that's nice. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let me have a go at this. You um, do yours first. Yeah, let me have a go at this thing first. So it's... Get this millstone turning. Yeah, come on. I mean, right. you need three. I, I said you would be able to do it. Yeah. Only three. You, just, you need three. Yeah, all three. That's all my stamina. It's fine, you got the extra maneuver. Yeah. So we flip okay. this over. Let's not be damaging now. Don't be damaging now. You rotate the heavy millstone half a turn and then it stops. The runes glow green for a while and trigger some unseen mechanism that starts to shake the whole vault. You hear rumbling in the distance, like a part of the hill is coming apart. Sorry about that. The power is now <laughs> off. Yay! We also reveal story card L and Thanks. flip it. Oh, do we take that away immediately? or Reveal story card Caltrop. If there is an X token overlapping J, remove it. And then reveal story card A and flip it. Right, we've got lots to do here. Okay. So the first thing is, reveal story card L, that which we've really already happen. done, which is this one. And flip it, because the power is now off. Okay. The lightning wall falls. As the vault stops rumbling, the lightning wall collapses. Yet the energies that created it are not released. The magic is sucked right into the room which the wall was guarding. So all of that blue energy has gone, gone inside in the room. Remove the X token overlapping this area. Right, yeah. okay, so that's oh. done. Next is reveal Caltrop. A whole lot of shaking. He's going on. Dust falls on you as the walls tremble and the ceiling shakes. You sense a disturbance in the magical aura of the whole vault. One of the entrances collapses with a great rumble of stone. Then, just as suddenly as it started, the tremors die down. Speckles of dust gently settle on the ground. Oh, here we go. Take here, your cake. We go. Shake. here we go. Oof. Okay. So. It's there. So I don't. I don't think that's changed anything. It's made it a bit easier for Gribbly to come in. Yeah. It? It has, yeah. Oh, the area is bigger. Yeah. The area is now two because it's it's opened up. It means that he can come in. Yeah, the third thing was remove uh, reveal story card A. A is the hive mother. A is the hive mother. So, so the hive mother if wasn't we hadn't gone there then. Active at this point, right. the hive mother would have would now worked. Out there, right. Okay. But the main thing is... The uh, power now mother can now get in. Yes. Let's knock the wall down. So the main thing is the power is now off. We can now go in yeah. here, whatever okay. that is. Yeah. I suspect... It's got to be, yeah, it's I don't know be what, something that we need to do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I don't know what this is, if we're going to have time to do it. Yeah, we okay. Might not. How many time is do we get? Is it until four. these run out? Oh, it's these four. Yes, that's right. Yeah, if this fake wow. deck ever runs out, we just reach There's not many in that fake deck, deck, are there? In There's because not many in that fake deck. Throughout the game. Okay. Okay. So, next turn, is it? Whose go is it? So, I was in the middle well, of Paul's my... Not, no. I, You've not I had any of your yet. things yet. No, so I'm I'm using um, Maneuver. Mm -hmm. So, I you think... can't move through this area because there's an enemy there. So, you could move to here... And attack. And, attack and I can attack. Okay. But... Oh, you've got lightning to deal with. Yeah. But that's fine. Because okay. you've got all of yeah. this. Well, I think, I think what I should do is recover first. Yeah, but then you won't be able to attack. Yeah, I think Paul's right. I think you should get in there 
on the tag. And the knowledge that if you take any damage, you can just, just flip those over. Those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so our manoeuvre is to go here. Yep. I roll against three. So, so you take two damage. Three damage. Okay. Now you can have an attack yeah, into attack. this area, which is full. You got to I needed to yep. put that in my active quick, first. Get the hand axe out of the back. Get right. the hand axe, quick. One you dice. Need the hand axe. And two successes. So it's two successes. Yeah. Yeah. It's two hits because you can't spend any stamina. So two damage to number three. Two damage to number three. Nibbles him down a bit. There you go. Okay. And that was you on green. So it's me on green. Erg. Well, mm. I think I'm I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to try and zap it. And you've minus got, one you've got an extra manoeuvre, haven't you? Oh, we forgot. Oh, big pun. Sorry, I, yeah, I had a manoeuvre, so I could have done the heal. You could have done the heal. Come on, do, yeah. the, do the heal first, then. So... Get your three health back. Did I take a damage? No, I just took a damage. I didn't have you three. Two damage from there that went on to there. Oh, so yeah. you didn't have... I didn't have two there. I had I had one there, I yeah, think. Yeah, so you could have recovered two of those. So I could yeah. have recovered two of those. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to put... Two of those. Two of those would, on there. Yeah. Which, which means... Which then have become wounds. You could have then turned them into wounds if you wanted. So you can take your wounds either from here or from there. Well, you've got to come from here first. Yeah. Only there if you... Oh, okay. Oh. So, so let's say that I did do the recover first. Yes. Okay. I forgot you had the extra manoeuvre. Yeah. Which which I couldn't... And I only had one wound here, so I wouldn't have used this one. You wouldn't have I used would have either. used that. So yeah. I'd have put two here. Which you did. Okay, which I did. Then... Um, then you moved on to here and took the two damage. Put two damage. Oh, which would have actually been Those that. Two. Yeah, so... Pop, those pop two, them by there. Those, oh, those oh, would no. have been on would there. Have been those, two. those would have been damaged there. Like that. I would have ended and up with that. And then you did the attack, so you, you didn't have any. So in, in effect, it was the same. It was the same thing, wasn't it? It was the same thing. <laughs> we didn't know. Never mind. We didn't know. Okay. Right. right, my go. I'm going to attack it. This one. Yeah. Oh, that's two. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't have wanted to use your extra manoeuvre to... Heal some first. I was going to do that afterwards because I didn't think I was going to need it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'll just call it two. Yeah. Down to four. No. It's one because it's obstructed. So it's on five. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use my two manoeuvres. So actually, I could heal one, heal one. Yeah. Or I could move out. And heal two. And then heal two. And then yeah, at least I'm not there. Away, then. But I don't, away. Mind, I don't mind being there. No, I'm just going to stay there. Okay. Mind you, you're, you're not obstructed if you're firing into the space, are you? That might yes, be better. if there's somebody else in there. Oh, you mean I should have done that first? Yeah. No, it might be better to move out. I should have. And then you can fire into it. I should have moved into And then fire in. And fired in. But I should can, have done But you could do that now. I mean, you could. No, because I've already, I've already done it. No, no, I don't, I don't mean rewind. I mean, having attacked, you could then move out and be ready for next time. I could, but I've decided to stay there okay. and I've just healed and healed again. Okay. Right. End of the round. Ouch. Ooh, big numbers are coming out. Well, we had lots of little ones. Right, we? so next round, I think I'm going to empower. So I'm not going to attack because my attack's rubbish. I'm just going to empower you and get you three of them back. Thank you. And with those three, I will... Or, then... well, some of those back. Maybe even four, maybe five. If we can get rid of this one, at least. But we are running out of time and we need to get... Oh, I'm going to true strike. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I think getting rid of one of them might help. Mm. But we haven't done this. And we need to get in there. We haven't even opened this, so we don't know what's there. We don't know what's Pete's there. Pete's got the butterfly. Pete's got the butterfly. But you've got a gribbly in the way. Yeah. I mean, you can just run away from it, take your damage. That's not in my... <laughs> what's the word? <laughs> <Dear> no. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
Red monsters. Okay. Demons. Open eye. No snake, thankfully. So pincer. Three. Yeah. So it's on me. Three with might. That's two damage. Yeah. You've got damage nowhere in here. Right, on you, Pete. Pincer, three damage, might. Two damage. Okay, right, that's them done. Gob. Red heroes. Me. I'm going to attack. And me. Can I go first? Well, no, no, you go first. I'm thinking I'm probably going to recover somebody's stamina. Okay. But it gives you stamina and to pay for hits. Yeah. Did you want to? Did you want to do a manoeuvre first? Oh yeah, recover. Bottle on the floor. Then I'll do a recover. I'll get two of those. Yeah, two back because you were hindered. Yeah. Then I'll attack him with a fifth strike. It's nice. Yeah. So three, four, five. One, two, three, three oh, four. four. How many has he got left? Ten. So the four is down to six. And one more. Down to five. Down to five. Lock him down to half. Okay. Right, me. I am going to empower you. So you can have four back. Four. Nice. And then I'm going to heal one. Okay. And then he Skitter. Oh no, Skitter. Skitter of next. Skitter is next. It's moving one again. Yeah. Skitter, blue, open eye. Open eye. Who's one? Move one. Get to Skitter. Mm -hmm. Right. Now me. Have him. Come on. Two dice. One dice. One dice. One dice plus, plus two. two. One dice plus you two. Need a great text. That's what you need. How many do we need? Five. So you can do it with a crystal. Yeah, I can pay. I can pay two here. Two stamina for two hits. Two hits plus one plus two for the plus crystal. Is four, four and a crystal. Achievement token is five. five. Yeah. But now we three. We can. Ah, uh, but then I probably want to. Well, the thing is, if I, I can either come up here. Yeah, you've got the acid bath to... Got the yeah. acid and lightning. I mean, the, the, the square of acid is not that big. Surely we can just <laughs> walk back the outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up and do this power. Seems I'm the one who discovered the anti-power. And I've now turned it off. I'm going to pay... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's dangerous, isn't it? We are, we are running short on the old... Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay one. Yeah, to yeah, move three. I'm going to, I'm going to move three. Because we are one, running out of time. Two, now. three. So now we it. Get in the attic bath. Come on. Three damage. Two damage. Two damage. One. No. no. It's a injury. It's, it's a damage. damage. It's damage. Flip it over. One, one two. two. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right. End of the round. <laughs> Timer. It's three. Yeah. So we get another one. And we potentially have two rounds left and then we lose. So it's appearing here. So let's just have that one back. Number three is back. With 14 health. Mm -hmm. Right. So what's what's the plan? Well, I mean, Matter Jam's got the butterfly plate. We don't need anything to get in here. We don't know what to do in here, but we can get in there. We just don't know. We don't need to we kill don't the know what it is. We don't need to kill the enemies. But wasn't this guy... Shantor in... is being... Pre... We've got to stop the we blue don't... and the red. We've stopped the red, I think, because you bashed the red... Yeah, the all the electricity, all the, all the blue has gone into this room. So yeah. surely it's got something to do with this yes. room. I think this is not relevant to that completing the scenario. So I think, see, I think going in there yeah. 
it would be the thing for me to do. Yeah. I need to do that. I, I don't know what you're going to do. Are you going to... Well, I've got the button supply plate. I two, can run away from three. here, run through the acid, and then go in here, because I've got the butterfly plate. Yeah. If you think that that's going to be worth doing. It, it's, it's up to you. The problem is that's going to come after us and nibble us, but that's less important. Is it all about this, or is that important as well? We don't know, We did do we? forget the loot. Oh, yes. It dropped the blood crystal. Uh, which one? So oh, when the, one, the looming demon the one was, was killed, on the, yeah. catch it, it you dropped know. the blood yeah, crystal. <laughs> so a blood crystal, you may discard it when you're doing a magic attack to oh. get plus one dice. Okay. You, you can discard as many of them as you want. So there's no point in me having So it. if I have that, because yep. I do do magic attacks. So you're on the spot, aren't you? So that's fine. Yep. So yes, I did forget that they drop blood crystals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I'm manoeuvring. Should I empower and give you... Will I be in range? Yes. Because if I go first... Mm. If I go you. first... Yeah, I'm going. Or do I'm, I? I'm going blue. Do I runic trajectory and try and kill that? Well, I'm going to take wounds. I'm I'm going to take wounds here. Do they carry on to the next scenario? Wounds or don't, but do injuries I? do. But whenever you take a wound, whenever you become wounded, you get you an injury. You get an injury. So I'll take an injury forward in you the campaign. You will get an injury forward in the campaign. Well, maybe maybe I should. Maybe I should empower you first in the hope that I just. I, I'm you, going to do extra maneuver to, to do the movement. Okay. I think we need to because yeah yeah okay. I, I think so are we all chosen yep um sorry you are running your yeah okay yep okay <gasps> it's fine it yep. red heroes before blue which is what we want okay but demons half open eye it's tail slice so it's number movement. three first it's moving two two three three Mm. One, two, three. It's not gone through any fancy areas? No. No. It's there. It's there. Is that a two space? It's a two space. Okay, that's fine. So you can move in Get and through, through it. it. Yeah, it's all right. But I'll take damage on the way out. But it can't attack you. It will give me a... Pr it will provoke... It will yeah, do it you'll provoke take one damage. Yeah. Okay. Number four... Is attacking. Does a tail slice. Yeah, tail slice. Three damage on three. Three, agility check to negate. No, might. They're half a. Yeah. Uh, and we need a third token on there. Because three oh. of them have been submitted. Yeah. So, yeah, the oh, fourth four token on there and we look. Half oh, open. Yeah, agility. We've got at least two rounds left. So, how many damage? Three. Minus one. There's not many fake cards on so that deck. Okay. Right. Gulp. Yeah. So that's that's them done. And it's you. Me. Yeah. So I'm going to empower you. Thank you. Because you're still within range. So you can have two. back. Two. We've only got three to go. You can have three. Three. Okay. Thank you. Nice. And then for my manoeuvre, oh, you need to keep yourself going, don't you? I'll heal too. Mm -hmm. At least you're not hindered by it. That's me done? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Blue. Blue, that's me. Off we go. Extra yeah. manoeuvre. Extra manoeuvre. So, so two manoeuvres. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to pay. Three movement points. Three points. One. Move in. Move Take out. Take a damage. Take a damage for moving out. Which is there. Yeah. <laughs> Here, <laughs> roll. It's a will, so it's three damage. Two dice. <laughs> oh. oh, it could go horribly wrong. <laughs> it does go horribly, horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. So we've, we've got our first wounded <laughs> okay. So, so it hasn't happened yet in the three games that we've played. Two. It might be about to happen again. Oh, so I've taken two out of three. Yeah. So here's what here's what happens. Um, Can I do a rethink? No. <laughs> none of us have rethought at all. No. Well, it's because I've been predetermined. Right. So when all of your stamina chips are wound side up. Yes. And you take 
more damage. One more to go. Then you flip over that. You become wounded. You immediately gain four stamina back. Yep. But that is your maximum stamina now for the rest of this mm. scenario. And you become injured. So I wasn't going to explain these at the start because they're all different and they all do different things. But essentially, you get an injury card that will carry with don't, you. Don't injure my left arm, my hand axe arm. Uh, there, is, there is a message in the chat to avoid this happening. Yes. You could have spent an achievement. Yeah. To get one success, which would have prevented this oh, okay. from happening. Right, it would still then be on eight. eight okay, eight, we're, do eight. we're doing it, but which, yeah, thanks which for did that. you want to? Do? Oh well, I would. have, Yeah. Well, let's do that then, because you haven't drawn it yet. I haven't, I haven't drawn it. So yeah, just as a reminder, achievement tokens so achievement can be token... used on reactive checks. Right. You made a okay. reactive check. I did. So I could have made one shield. You could have made one shield, which, which would have prevented you, me from it, taking it the wounds. It does mean you have eight. Damage, yes, yes. But you are currently not wounded. Yes. So we'll, okay. see, we'll see the wound cards another time. Right. Then that. But you have eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah, these achievement tokens are very versatile. Okay. So let's think of the number so of So you points. went one, two, two three. three. So, and then my second manoeuvre is an ordinary... Because you've no stamina left. ...manoeuvre. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hang there. on. There's another. Oh, there's another there's one in another there. Another one in there. Oh well, did you want to just take them? Because then you'll get your four stamina. Yeah, I didn't realise there is another symbol in the corner. You get another dice roll. I get another dice roll. I get another dice roll. No, I'm going to do it. Come on, I'm going to just get in. Okay. There. Let's get in there. I'm so, going to take a, a standard yep. manoeuvre. First one to go in there. First one to go in Three there. Three damage coming in. Three damage negated by. Two. Two, which is one. So, you could so I could spend another one. <laughs> oh, I'm getting through my achievement points. Wow. Okay. So I'm still not wounded. We're still okay. And now we read in. Yes, we read in. I need a light out. Oh. Right, ball lightning. All the pent-up magic has gathered into a powerful ball of energy that floats, crackling at the back of the room. The air is heavy with the pungent smell of burnt dust and the deafening hum of magic. Deadly lightning randomly strikes at the walls and floors. The ball is feeding itself with energy in a vicious cycle and is about to explode. So if you are on the space, you I can will be. connect with the ball lightning, which is not possible if there is any enemies within one. If you do try this, then if story card Q has been removed from play, which it has not, but if it was, we'd get 10 extra successes. And for every... <coughs> Gura crystal you discard, you get five successes, and we need 25. 25 total successes. Oh my goodness. And we can flip this card over. How many? And we need a Gura crystals. A Gura crystal counts as I've got five. One. I've got one. So you need 20, but it is another progressive check, and it's a will check. Right. Hey, I'm good okay. at that. So at the end of my movement, I'm here. So I'm on it. And you can have a go at I it. I can have a go. there isn't an enemy within one. Correct. So you can have a go at it. Okay. It's a mental check. So it's a mental check, which You've is two, two for me. Two dice. I can, first of all, discard... You can discard the Agura crystal. crystal for five. Let's do so that. we've then. got five successes. If we'd have done two, yeah. we would have had an extra ten. Yeah, that's... Okay. There's two more. Two. So we've got seven out of twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a Star Lotus? You, I do. You do have a Star I do. Lotus. Uh, thank you. Thanks for reminding should, should me. You need to... I'm going to. Well, I can do that anytime, can't yeah. I? I'll do that now. Two. Be back. Yeah. Okay. Right. Nice. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. So who was that? I went on red. You I'm went blue. on blue. Yeah. Now it's. Skitterer. Uh, Skitterer. Closed eye with the horns. So it's moving four, but it's snooping around. So it goes one, two. It can't, can't get there. in there, so I think it stays there. Okay. You are still and the closest. Takes so you are damage still from the rubble. And it takes the damage from the rubble. Now, my plan mm. was to move here. Yeah. Which is great. 
except up to the point where you realise that I'm going to have to take a damage as I run away, go yeah, past the space. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to use a point in order to move the three rather than two. Yeah. Which means I have to deliberately wound myself. So. Can I do that? Can I move the extra one and deliberately wound myself? How do you mean? You won't have the stamina to do it, will you? You, you don't have the stamina to do this, so you can't do that. So it has to st be stamina coming it has from to be here. Stamina, yeah. You can't wound yourself from no, here. No. So I would have to use a mushroom to give myself a point of stamina, which would then uh, allow me to move three. If I wanted to then use the butterfly yeah. and move in. You've got the acid as well. Yeah, so I've got to do that, which is potentially going to make me wounded. Or you could use your first manoeuvre to recover. And get... Oh, no, that's still not good, is it? I mean, you've got a cube of teleportation. Just saying. So you have. <gasps> but I still have to disengage from no, him. It, it did say oh. you don't suffer any provoke damage from anything that you... And One, you're two, not treated three. as going through the air. So it's perfect. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I, so you I, can't I, see it because it's slightly off camera, but Pete has... Oh, well, shall I move it over here? Yeah, move it over. Here. There you go. I've spent most of my game playing career kind of carefully hoarding stuff like this <laughs> and then never using it. Yes, but and we I'm have thinking, the perfect opportunity. Now is the time, perhaps. I've changed my approach. Now I just burn stuff when I feel as though I need to. <laughs> so I'm going to teleport. So Let's cube of teleportation is used to move to a, an area within line of sight within five. So let's. So you can go, go there. there. Nice. Yes. So it's not counted as going through there. You can leave there without provoking. Nice. You can now put the runic plate in there, which removes that, which means we can read T. Well done. T is the picture chamber. The long wall of this chamber is covered in exquisite mosaic representing birds and beasts. Against the wall had once been a beautiful stone tablet, but it is broken and has collapsed. You feel a magical sensation and a weak light coming from it. So if you are on that space and you can search the table, if you are uh, Venia or you have a torch, you get plus one success. I have a torch. Okay. Well, so I haven't used either of my two manoeuvres yet. No. You have not. No. So I will use the first of them to, um, well, do I want to keep my powder dry or do I want to get myself from the brink of... You need some health back, maybe. That's 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 heal. Yeah. Um, I should get double healing because I've got four arms, so I can bandage twice as many things <laughs> at the same time. Um, but I use my second maneuver. I've got. I'm going to have two movement points. Yeah. Uh, one of them is going to be to move there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Agility read. check of four. S. And we'll read S as well. So S is spear of the ancients hanging on the wall. You see a beautifully decorated spear. It must have been something used by the ancients in their rituals or perhaps just a decoration. It has been rem remarkably well preserved and would still make a good weapon. If you are on this space and you spend a manoeuvre, you can mm. take the spear. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is interact with the spear. Yes. On. So you need an agility check. You need four, but you get plus one because you've got a sword. Put my axe away. Don't forget your prismatic gem if you really need it. Okay. So that's three successes. Plus one for the torch. Plus one for the torch. Oh, hey! Oh. Boom! A magic bottle. Ooh. You'll like this. <laughs> Under the broken table, amidst the rocks and rubble, you find lots of broken glass. That's it. There's nothing else here at all. <laughs> oh, except for potion of healing. <laughs> oh, healing! Healing! Uh, Potion of Healing card 32. I need that. I haven't got out ready. Let's get card 32. 32. Thank you very much. Ooh. My oh. healing, it just happens to just be what the doctor ordered. Right. That is very, right very close. Close. So that will go in the backpack. Go in the backpack? Probably not for very long. You've still got one movement point left. Um. I want to risk it. I've only got one movement point, so I could move here. To, you can drink the potion there. of healing. Move. That. I mean, you might be fine there because you've got free agility. 
But I mean, I'm only one. It's, I'm still going to have to move to get there next turn. Yes. So, I but we do it. have at least one more turn. You might get this spear, but you will get this spear, yeah. which you take forward with you. Yeah. So I'm thinking about getting that next turn. Yeah. And then not moving on that. I can move. I can do a normal move next turn to go one, two to there. Um, okay. As a normal maneuver, I can't see any point in moving to there now, and then just doing one out of two movement points. Because you, you do one and then back one. Um. Okay. I'll go on then. Yeah. Let's not waste movement because it is a bit dire. So let's. Um, Three damage coming in. Um, one damage. One damage. damage. Yes. Acid spraying around all over the place. Yeah, yeah the it is. Okay. End of round? Yeah. It's a four. Get this another skitterer. This could be our last round. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a seven. If the next one is a four or five, it's game over. Immediately. Well, we finished the round, but we've, we've lost. We, yeah. And we get another skitterer. So if we can have another skitterer. Number three. <laughs> skitterer number three. And it comes in up arrow. Uh, there. There. Yep. Okay. okay. Next round. So I don't need to empower. Mm. I mean... Okay, so what I'm best at doing is that, but there's only one dot, so only one of us can get in there. And can you get there? I, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Theoretically, yes, but real realistically, no, because I take provoke damage. There's acid. Yeah. There's a will check. There's a will check. By the time I get there, I will be absolutely wrecked. Okay. But also, there seems very little point doing much in the way of attacking. Because that's not what we're here to do. But well, we need we need so much for this test, don't we? We need twenty five, and we've got seven. We need we, we need get ten we need to by go taking into here that with a crystal. Yeah. yeah, but how? I don't have a crystal. I don't have one now. Matiyam's got a crystal. Matiyam's going to get in the spear. So okay, for me to get to here is one, two, three, four movement. No, you're going to no. go around. It's one, two, no. three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, forget it. No. I'm focusing. I don't think we're going to do it. But no, I'm focusing. We'll do the best we can. We'll yep. go out fighting. Yep. Right. Here we go. Initiative. Red monsters first. With the snake. With the snake. Wide open eyes. So the looming demon <laughs> is biting first, which is good because there's nothing in their area. Good. Right. Then it's going to move to... Uh, and it's going to attack with a pincer. Right, so, so number three. three can't get... So you're one, two, three, four away. Yeah. I'm three away. Matty Jam is one, two, three, three four, four away. away. So it comes for me. So it goes one, two, and takes the damage. Takes the damage. Why, why does... Yeah. Yes, yes. It's moving yeah, towards yeah, the yeah, closest. Towards closest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then number four... Also moves towards the closest hero, which is me. It does get there. So that does get in there, and that does have a go at me. So what was it doing? Fully open Fully eye. Fully open to pincer. Oh, it might. Three damage. Three damage. Mm. And now it's obstructed. Mm. <laughs> okay, but well that's them done. Yeah, yeah okay. They're finished. Red heroes is right. next. Focus. Off we go. You need 18 successes. Okay, here we go. Here come the burst dice. On, on three dice. Yeah, they're all going to burst, and then burst, and then burst again. I mean, we can make this, it, it could happen. Well, there is six. Oh, look at that. There is six. So that's 13. Wow. That's really good. Tantalising and clear. I mean, if this is a, a one. one, two, or three... We get another round. Um, and I, I can't do anything with this with this dude, can I? I can get one success. You could, but it's not worth it's it. Not worth it, is it? Okay, uh, my manoeuvre, I'm going to re, uh, re heal three. Yeah. That's me done. Okay, so that was red heroes. Red heroes. Blue enemies, which is the skitterer. Skitterer. 
half closed eye, moving two legs up, it moves to there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, on. and this one goes to there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then blue heroes. Nope. Nope. And then green. Right. So I'll do mine first because mine's quite easy. It's step back and attack, and then it wouldn't be obstructed. Yeah, that's got to be the best play, isn't it? Okay. Do you get a benefit? So I am going to use my maneuver to move to here, mm. taking a damage. We're just checking the positions of these. So Phil thinks that that one should not be there. What, the Lumen? Yeah, well, where was it? It was here. Wasn't it? I thought it was there. Yeah, and you said one, two, three, four, as one, opposed two, to three, one, four. two, three. Yeah, so you were four away, I was three away. So he went for the closest. Ah. Oh, is he saying it should be there? No, he's, all right. Sorry, yeah, we, we do need to correct this, because it is important. He's absolutely right. Your area is full. Right. That means it can attack from there. So it's one, two, yeah. three. Yeah. So it goes for you because you've got the higher what? taunt. Oh, it, higher it taunt. can attack from there. Therefore, okay. it's going to get to that area, okay. which is three away. So it's, we're, we're yeah. all three away. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much for spotting that. So it's, it was this there. one is there. It's in L. So it goes. It goes one, two. Well, it was on a. It was on there, it goes to there and there, and it takes the damage for going into there. But that's the damage that it took for going into the acid, which it didn't go. Right. I think we fixed it. Yeah, we were all three away. Right. That's a, that's a rule which is going to catch people. That's out. interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You're not counting the distance to the person. You're counting the distance to the area in which it, it can attack can from. Attack from. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think once we get that, yeah. we'll, be, we'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, that's fine. So meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile, uh, you're trying to move meanwhile, out. Meanwhile, <laughs> I've I've stepped away and taken a damage. You've taken one, right? And then I'm gonna zap it with my. Yeah, come on. I don't know why I'm just get this runic. And I could use that, but I'm gonna do that to heal two. Yeah. Chomping through these, and we're gonna fail the scenario. Three, so it's three. It's nice. Come on, number four yeah. takes it down to two. Okay, so I moved, I zapped it, Matty Jams go. Extra no. manoeuvre. No, um, this is a point where I could use the Potion of Healing, I could go for extra manoeuvre, and I could use a Mushroom, so I would end up with just one wound, and everything yeah. else would be there. Um, is that a good thing to do for I don't the end think of the scenario? So. Well, I, I think if you can survive and not get wounded, keep as much stuff as you can, because okay. it's not actually going to help us. So I'll just do a, a normal move. So two movement points. Um, ah, although one goes onto there. Sorry, I gave you bad advice last round because it's a manoeuvre to pick the spear up. So I say it was bad advice. It didn't make any difference whether you spent the one last yeah. round or you spent two. It's still, it's still a manoeuvre. Because your, your manoeuvre ends there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we flip that over. Okay. It's a ceremonial spear. Weapons of the ancients are incredibly rare and expensive. And this one is exquisitely made. It has perhaps been used by their high priests or generals in important ceremonies. Have a ceremonial spear. Oh, thank you very much. I might use it in some That's important right. ceremonies. Um, I'm going to use it to pick up my noodles, I think. So let's just have a look at what it does. I'll show people on the big camera. So it's a melee weapon, but it can be used at ranged one. But it's still melee, yeah. which means it doesn't suffer the penalties for a ranged attack, hmm. like mm -hmm. obstructed. Mm -hmm. It does plus one success, uh, and the pierce means it gets through one armour. Mm. Now, this little icon down here is not relevant yet, but it will become relevant later on. So what you're saying is that it's almost as good as a shovel. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's better than a shovel. Slightly better than a shovel. <laughs> I'd replace the shovel. Just add the shovel to the pile of stuff. Just as a reminder, I have no equipment car. Would you like a shovel? <laughs> You can't yet. You're on, you're That's you're my shovel. Right. That was my great axe that I got. 
<laughs> um, Still wielding my so you hand axe. Maneuvered, maneuvered. That's it. Finished. That is the end of the round. Unless there's a, unless it makes sense for me to use the potion of healing and the, um, because we found in previous scenarios that if you ended up with, there may be an achievement, but I think the potion of healing might be better than achievement okay. token. I think. All right. Should we go for it? Should I'll, we see what it is? I'll limp off the stage. Yeah, off we go. It's a two. Ooh. It's a two. Oh, we're okay. So we've got another round. We've got another go. You can get 12 successes Can I get that. 12 successes? I don't know how. Yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, I'm not helping much at all here, but... Well, if we get, get a crystal in there, we could get 10. If we get a crystal in there, that's 10. That's how you do it, isn't it? One, two, three. Two, three. One achievement the first time. No, no, no. no. That was so far away. Okay, I well, I'm, I'm focusing. Two, well, I'm, yeah, I'm doing that. No, I can't. Sean can't, can't do an extra focus, but <laughs> he won't focus. Yeah. I mean, if it goes before you, but then we're, you, can't, take, you can't do it. Take the damage. Oh, I can't do it because... Because you can't do I the test if there is an enemy, within, enemy one. within one. Well, I'm red. It's as fast as I can go. Yeah, I'm going to go... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go runic trajectory. Okay. What's the best thing for me to do? I can. Uh, I think. Doesn't make any difference. Extra really. maneuver. This might be the last round. Yeah. I mean, we got an extra round, but I don't think it's going to it's going to help us. In fact, okay. it might might hurt us. Here we go. Ooh, oh, that's a lovely card. Oh yes. Hello, hello, hello. That, that card called Shuffle is the best one there. It is. That's the super super card. Yes. Right off you go then. Okay. So, uh, red first, that's me. Yeah, do you want to use your manoeuvres first? Um, yeah, would that be So if I that get in good? there and put a crystal in there, that gives us 10 points, does it? Yeah. Yeah, against that 25. Okay. Right, so recovery, first manoeuvre. Which you can do, because you've got three manoeuvres. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And an achievement token. Um, can you do it? Yes. Just. Yeah. And another manoeuvre. Second manoeuvre, I can recover. Can't I? No, no reason not to, is there? You can. There's no reason not to, because I'd not really need to move. None, neither of us can get in. And do any serious work. No, I, I, I can't get in there. No, so I may as well so stay there. So you might as well stay there. Okay, so I've done a recovery. Another uh, recovery. Of health. I've done another recovery. Now stamina, you're doing... And now I'm doing... The test. You've got a prismatic jewel as well for an extra yeah. plus one maneuver. Okay. We could do we this. Might do this. We could do this. Wow, if we did, that would be incredible. Wouldn't it just be amazing? So we need two successes. Yeah. Come on. Well, there's one. So there's two successes. There's two successes. Come on. Let's burst them all out. You can finish it by yourself. Four. Four. 17 out of 25. 17 out of 25. Just want it noted that I've done all 17 points. If we can yeah, do Q by putting an Agura crystal in there, that adds 10 to this. Yes! We don't know what's going to happen, but we and then hope, we it, it's over. We hope it's good. And then we play part two of the scenario. No. So <laughs> <laughs> blue. Blue heroes with an extra manoeuvre. Not a biddy. Right, green. Um, do you want to do yours first? Because mine is mine is fairly inconsequential. My, mine right. is mostly irrelevant. To give ourselves any chance of doing this, I'm going to use the potion of healing. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, it was a valuable thing. Well, but... it's only worth two gold, but... Yeah, and then I'm going to use... So, three movement. So, one, one two, two, three. three. Get burnt by the acid on the way through. Yeah, become a familiar... You should know where, where it is by now. <laughs> really well right there. there. No, she thought was there. Why is that? That's three, I'm all right. Yeah. No damage. Well done. You did put the uh, wellies on. So one, Second two, minute. three. One. You're spending two, a bit of stamina? Three, yes. Yeah. Another, more acid. Another acid. More acid. I've been two damage. Two. Well. 
and now your extra third free manoeuvre. You spend. Two. No, it's, no. Gonna, it's gonna be three. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Another, another stamina. Well done. For one, two, three. Well, well done. done. I mean, I'm really glad that we scripted this entire playthrough <laughs> to provide dear. this level of excitement. What? I'm not gonna you're gonna, you're, you're, gonna not, you're not gonna like this. Oh, get away! No, so you're not gonna like this, and then you are gonna like this. Okay. Do you need to drop the crystal? It's a maneuver. No. no. To Can place I... the Agora crystal. So I use the prismatic jewel. But thankfully, wow, Pete has a prismatic jewel, which gives him an extra maneuver. I mean. You could not have scripted this wow. because this is such a combination. <laughs> if it weren't for that card, yes, and the fact that you had the prismatic yes. jewel, yes, this would not have been possible. I am going to speak and, to and the, my seventeen points. And the seventeen points. I'm going to speak to the designer after this because this, <laughs> I can't see this ever being close. Yeah, you might have done the donkey work, but I'm going to get all the glory. You get the glory for putting crystal I, down. I've done nothing. I've lost my shovel. Right. So we're going to flip it over. Yes. Perfect fit. You place an agura crystal on the pedestal. Have you discarded one? It fits perfectly into the hole. The Agura crystal starts to shine with an ethereal luminescence, giving the whole room a blue glow, which has a warming and refreshing effect. You get the feeling it has also had an effect elsewhere in the ancient structure under the hill, but it's not clear from here what that was. Each hero in the vault gets three points of stuff back, either health or stamina. What do you feel? Remove this card from play. Because this card has been removed from play, we get 10 successes on here. Yes. 10 successes yeah. on here means we get 25. So we flip it over. You communicate with the magical ball te telepathically and force it to calm down. It still lets out the occasional lightning strike, but the self-feeding cycle and the risk of implosion are gone. Hum slowly dies out and everything seems much calmer. With the magic that attracted and agitated the monsters gone, the creatures now flee away from the vault. Read outcome one, scenario success. However, it did say you play to the end of the round. So Phil will confirm this because thematically it says the monsters are fleeing away from the vault. Yep, okay. But, it, but nothing has told us to remove them from the vault. No. So Phil, should we remove them from the board or should we play out the rest of this round and then they run away because it is going to matter. Because if we do play out the rest of the round, I, 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 we might take some damage, basically. Uh, and we also draw a fake card. I no, just carry on at the end of the round. So we ju we just carry on, as in yeah. And then they'll run away at the end of the round. Who was that? That was you on green, doing you did all, all of, that of your manoeuvres. Yeah. It's now me on green. So I've got two manoeuvres. And my rune So I'll use my first maneuver to do that. And then I will blast something. Huzzah! Let's blast number four. Number four. So I could go for number five, but it would be obstructed. But I'm going to yeah. go for number four. Yeah, it's dead. Ah, yes. so it's dead. It drops, it drops a blood crystal. And then I use my extra maneuver to move on there and pick up the blood crystal and go back there. Okay. Right. So next. The demons go next. Yep. So it moves to there. It moves to and does pincher. And attacks you. Yep. Three. Yep. No, misses. Wow. Well, I've got this ball, this blue orb in my hand. No damage. Uh, and then the skippers. The skipper has a half open eye. Move two legs up. So that moves into the that moves to the that one takes a damage. So number three takes a damage, not that it matters. And number five is hitting me with a leg stab, which is agility. Two damage, two damage. Two damage. Right, so we've played to the end of the round. Well, the end of the round technically is you draw a fake card. Yes. Oh look at that. But it does say that if you lose and win the scenario at the same time, it counts as a win. Right. So if that had been... That had been... If that two. had been anything other than a one, yeah. the fourth demon would have spawned, yeah. and that would have been a loss. But and would we, we would also have, have lost if we'd have turned that one over as no, well? No. No? No. If these run out, you just reshuffle. You just reshuffle, right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, I never had any doubts. Wow. 
<laughs> Went into this room for a test for 25. 25. Right. 25. Yeah. Okay, so we read the scenario outcome, which is in this book. Right, careful of spoilers. On page 74. No, it's, it's right in the back. So I, w I will pick it up though and read from it. So where is it? You manage to redirect and shut down the clashing magical energies. The magical lightning is grounded and dissipates. The rumbling turns into a whisper and then dies out. In the vault's central chamber, Shantor lies barely breathing as the magical bubble surrounding her vanishes. She breathes heavily as she turns to speak to you. I may well be the last keeper of the breach left. You must now fulfill my quest. Here, use this key to access Skyrender in Runedale. It is one of the beacons you must light to prevent Aox from entering Agamonia from the breach. You see she is in pain and exhausted, but still manages to conjure a weary smile. I hope to see you again, Keepers. She seems to have one last ounce of magic left as the world turns around her and her body disappears, leaving only her empty robes behind. You have a tingling sensation suggesting she is not dead, but gone to a different place. You have barely picked up the ancient key your newfound mentor left behind when something even stranger happens. The big stone head carved in the wall comes alive. Oof. Its ice blue eyes stare at you and its voice booms low, but it is not menacing. Rather, you feel comforted by its presence. The fate of Agamonia now lies in your hands, it declares. Each one of you has the power to make a difference, but also a chance to veer away from the light. Your destinies are unwritten, but they will be intertwined. The choices you make, individually and together, will determine the fate of all. You realise this is not just a statue which speaks, this is the voice of Aeon, the good energy that opposes Aeox and the demons. Its voice no longer booms in the chamber, but it is now heard inside your heads, all of you experiencing a different vision. So we gain scenario card six, which we'll do next time, and each player takes the hero book for their hero and reads their own personal vision on page two. Now, we're not going to do that this time. So something else happens after we've read our vision that we haven't done yet, but we should now go to our book and read our vision. And that's the vision that we've had at that point. Then we have the conclusion. If your hero gained the Toggle Whisperer story card in tutorial one, then we now write Toggle Whisperer in the hero journal and remove the card from play. So I don't right. need the card anymore. Okay. I just write down that I'm a Toggle Whisperer. If you have the scrolls saved, cross it out. We didn't have the scrolls yeah. saved, so we don't cross it out. Remove all runic plate tokens from play. We don't need them anymore. If we have birdie saved, we didn't save birdie. We did have legionary saved. The destructive magic has destroyed Shantor's enchanted wagon birdie. Her toggle legionary whimpers, to the, whimpers next to the wreckage. The beast's fur is slightly scorched, but otherwise it seems none the worse for wear. You calm it and take it along to Runedale, where it will perhaps meet others of its kind. Oh. So, achievements. Okay. Explorers, story cards H, U and Y have been drawn. Everything's been drawn. I have no story cards left. So we all gain one achievement. Next, Two. pacifists. No enemies were defeated. Uh, no, no. no. Uh, Demon Slayers, all spawned Aox enemies were defeated. No. 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 Treasure Hoarders, you have one or more Agura crystals yes. and didn't discard any during the scenario. No, we no. did. No. Individuals, Giant Killer, the Hive Mother was defeated and your hero dealt the final damage. I think that was probably me, wasn't it? It was you because you were doing yeah. big damage from adjacent. Bullheaded, your hero attempted the reactive might check on story card W. We didn't do that because we didn't get to story card W. Uh, all for one and one for all. Your hero took the ceremonial spear off the wall, but another hero ended the scenario with it. And finally, pacing yourself, you finished the scenario unwounded with a total of three or fewer. Ah, four. I'm going to use a zero. Hey. Thank you. Okay, and now the epilogue. You turn your backs on the ruins and the vault of the ancients and continue on your way to Runedale. Each of you is silently pondering Shantor's fate and the strange vision you beheld, wondering whether to share it with the others or keep it to yourselves. The sun sets to your left, painting the sky with brushstrokes of cyan and rose. In the horizon, you see the smoke rising from Runedale's chimneys. 
As you keep travelling, one thing is clear to you. The fate of Agamonia lies in your hands. Oof. Right, so that is the end of Scenario 3. We have now arrived in Roomdale. So Scenario 3 is the end of the tutorials. Scenario 4 onwards is where the campaign starts. So we've arrived in the city of Roomdale, mm -hmm. and in the next video, uh -huh. we will be going through how the actual campaign structure works, where we get to interact with various things in town, we get to go shopping, uh, we have different factions that we can gain reputation with, and upsetting one of them, or being friends with one of them might upset the other one, etc, etc. Uh, there are different scenarios that we, we can go to, we don't have to do them in order. Um, so scenario 6 is unlocked for us, but other scenarios are available as well. And yeah, there's, we've got our own storybooks. So you two have got your right. own storybooks. Yep. If you want to, um, yeah, I would say take them take them with you, but I'm going to need them for next week. So we've got our own storybooks, which is your own little adventure. We, we, we should read these privately. Next time we will summarise what's happened to us individually, but they are supposed to be a private thing. Um, but yeah, you've got your own little storybook with little choose-your-own-adventure things in there as well mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, next time we will go through how the city part of the game works and how the overall rest of the campaign fits together. But for now, that is scenario three over. Whoosh, whoosh. Definitely, definitely need to lie down after that one. Um, thank you very much to everybody uh, for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope this has helped you learn how to play or see how it's been played out. Let us know if you've got any comments on the video and if you've got any questions about it. Thank you very much to the people who've been watching us live and helped us pick up some of those little mistakes that we mm. made. Um, it is one of those games where the rules are clear, but there's a few things that are going to catch you out. Yeah. Um, and the things that used to catch us out in our previous games, we're okay with them now. It's other little things that are catching us out um, as well. But we will get there. We will get there for next time. For sure. So, yes, yeah, thank you very much to you two for joining us. Thank you. We'll thank see you, you yeah. next week. And we'll see you next time for part four. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.